Tape Levels. What up? It's your boy LG and Mickey. Ah, huevo. Mickey, tu compa, Mickey. <risa> Aquí estamos en el show más prestigiado del mundo en la India y en todas partes, mi compa. Tenemos al Husky, yo, los, yo. los esclavos allá en los Keys. Y tenemos una persona muy importante que nos ha, ha estado aquí antes. Annette. International what up? Women's hey. Month. Woo! Includes Annette. Dude. Annette, welcome to the show. How you doing? I'm doing good, and you guys? I'm you know, doing you know, good. How are you? Respecting women all, the, all over the world. You I know, would you? hope so. Annette, repíteme lo que, te, lo que me estabas contando ahorita que te pasó en la tienda. Oh, yeah, before we go, oh, let's yeah. blast Wait. off. Three. Pero ve pensando. Two. One. Oh, <laughs> Gordo, este es mi tercer monstruo de oro. This is my Ooh. first Red Bull today. What? <laughs> wait, that's this your wait, huh? Red Why are you drinking today? Red Bull? H hold up, huh? wait, Red Bull uh, gives you wings. We're not sponsored by Red Bull. We're not sponsored by Monster either. How do you, you know, know that? that? How do you know that? <laughs> it's because I request well, no, the Red Bull. Nunca, nunca vienes a los meetings. Como listen, 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 we listen, 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 Linda. Listen, Linda, Linda, listen. Mm -hmm. So Annette doesn't partake in monsters. She said she hates it. I never said that. You said that. I but swear. I I do like Red Bull more for the most part. Mm -hmm. I also just like the portion size more. Listen, the monsters mempalagan if I have to. Well, because you're tiny. And that's great. And that's great. And you're entitled to that. You know yeah. why? Because this is your month. And Amazing. I, as an ally, want to support you. As an ally. Yes. Ally no, I like monsters too. I'll Not only is your month, but is Okay, Cheers. it's your month. Let's Cheers. just yeah. leave it there. Oh, uh, I was telling Mickey right story. now, because as you guys know, it's International Women's Month. But today, is when we're recording this, yeah, yeah, yeah. is actually International Women's Day. Yeah, sick, dude. And we did it. And oh. I was at the gas station earlier. I didn't know today was International Women's Day, honestly. honestly. I didn't know. Do you identify as a woman? I just want to know. I do. Okay. Well, yeah, okay, imagine if we falsely sure. just this whole <laughs> like, up until now. You guys are now. misgendering me. <laughs> You're a girl, right? <laughs> You're yes. a girl, right? Are, uh, you guys, are you guys girls? I didn't realize that that was such a controversial question to ask. I am, but yeah. <laughs> Move on. Uh, okay, moving on. Anyways, <laughs> so I was at the gas station today, and as I'm paying, the cashier's like, oh, by the way, like, happy International Women's Day. I was like, oh, thank you. We did it. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then he's like, girl, every right? I think every day should be International Women's Day. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> uh, That's such a know. weird thing to say, though. <laughs> like, what do you want me to say to that? Uh, in all honesty, what do you want me to say to you that? You say, yeah. for real. Se como un beta male in it. Yes. <laughs> See? When I, when I was approaching the register, he was telling another guy, like, how to smoke his cigarettes. He's like, yeah, like, do this, inhale what? this. Yeah, that's what he, literally what he was doing. I was like... What the hell? Mm. No, like the guy was paying for cigarettes and the cashier was talking to him. This guy uh, was getting a tutorial on how to smoke a cigarette? <laughs> yes. Amazing. Oh, yeah. That's hilarious. It's hilarious to think that there's like a step by step on things like that. There is a way, actually. Like, I mean, sure, but it's kind of like suck on this stick, you know? <laughs> That's what she said. I know. Yeah. I know that's what she said. I, no, I mean cigarettes. Fair enough. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, uh, wow. You know what? That sounded pretty yeah. bad. Take that, it back. Yeah. Take it back. I take it back. I'm sorry. Especially on international women's day. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, but I was gonna say. Not LG making another apology video. Amazing. <laughs> what other apology video have I LG made? LG did a bad thing. No comment. Oh, I didn't feel. I didn't feel bad about the prank. O sea, que el vato estaba buscando female. ¿Cómo le llaman? Appropriation? No, 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 no. no. Um, approval of women. Female approval. I don't know. was kind of. He went to the wrong person. I'm Amazing. the biggest hater. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the biggest hater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, You're a top ten. Top but, ten. Top ten. Top ten. Top ten. Top ten. Top ten. I think I'm a good contender. Maybe I'm not like in the number one spot, but mm. I am a hater. For what? For being a hater? Yes, people always complain about me hating on things. Now, a question for you, uh, just to jump off of that. Do you think that you are being yourself and are being perceived as a hater and you're just kind of rolling with it? Or do you really feel hate? Well, I think for me, it's just that I'm not a kiss ass. Like, if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you, hey, like, I don't like that. And I'm not going to just stay quiet about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's what I like about you, Annette, because you speak your mind. Thank you. That won't make any friends. Annette. Uh, I can? have friends. Smile more. Lo que el mundo no entiende es que being a <laughs> hater. You just told me to smile on yeah. International Women's Month. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. That, was that, was that was a joke. That was a joke. No, you can't I joke in 2021. I'm in. At, look, I'm you drinking honestly, Red Bull. Oh, wait, speaking about not being able to take a joke in 2021, let's talk about it. Okay. A ver. Let's talk about so, it. I don't know if you guys saw it, but there's like this 
Twitter thing that was going on today. Well, what's happening? Um, the Burger King UK Twitter account tweeted, Amazing. "Women belong in the kitchen." Ooh, what? Boy. Like I'm not, I'm not kidding. They what? tweeted that, are, are, and people are, took oh. offense. I oh. thought it was really funny, honestly. Were they hacked? No, no, no. Let me, let me tell you. Okay, explain it to me. So if you actually clicked on the tweet, you can see that it's like a thread. It's a short thread. Tweets tweeted right after each other. They deleted the tweet already. Um, oh. You can Google it though. And basically, they were they're trying to, I'm assume, just get people's attention because what? they they're starting like a scholarship program yeah. to help the women who work for Burger King get certified for like As culinary yeah. certifications. <laughs> Sorry, I just read their 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 reasoning. Yeah, because a lot of people. Um, like they they have those sexist values of like oh housewife women should be the ones to cook this and that but at the professional level only 20 percent of chefs are women mm -hmm. and that's what burger king was trying to bring the attention to <laughs> oh man it's a very <laughs> interesting <laughs> i thought it was pretty funny and i didn't i knew somebody was gonna take it the wrong way but it would literally take you just clicking on the tweet and reading the thread the yeah. rest to of see it, yeah. that it's not like a sexist tweet uh, so they were just trying to trigger people it's but, like a publicity but let's see, i actually want to hear the re read the rest can you read it go to yeah, yeah, yeah okay so the initial she just says women belong in the kitchen right the reply thread to this is if they want to of course yet only 20 percent of chefs are women we're on a mission to change the gender ratio in the restaurant industry by empowering female employees with the opportunity to pursue a culinary career Hell we yeah. are proud to be launching a new scholarship program which will help female Burger King employees pursue their culinary dreams. So, yeah, it, it, it's like everything that came after that initial tweet was good. But, man, does that really... Uh, that's an incendiary tweet right there. I like to think the whoever's responsible for this thread or whatever this post, they're like, should I? And then yeah, he, goes yeah. to, he goes to his boss, hey, boss, I have yeah, this yeah, tweet. What do you it. think? <laughs> I don't know. And they're like... Sure, let's see. Let's see what happens. Anne, ¿tú qué piensas? Fue, eh, la, ¿Lograron lo que querían o no? Well, I think people definitely misinterpreted it, mm -hmm. which I think is so dumb. Why would you get so salty about it? Uh -huh. If it's obviously like a... It's intended to be funny and not inherently sexist. Yeah. It's intended to capture your, your yeah, attention. Yeah, it's but definitely I mean, like an eye-grabbing yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a But it's a joke on sexism, though. You yeah. Know? Like, it's like, it's definitely jumping off of that. Well, I saw this earlier and I, I retweeted it because I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah. And then I was reading the replies to it <clears throat> and people quoting it. And a lot of people were, I, I was kind of surprised that people were like, wow, like I'm never eating at Burger King ever again. Yeah. <laughs> and As you they know, should. typical dumb things like that. Burger it, King it made is me better. crave Burger King. Now I everybody's going to go, now. Now everybody's gonna go to Chick-fil-A to eat the Lord's Chicken. I mean, but it's burgers. Oh, I love As a McDonald's employee, I feel proud of what they have done. They have just given more customers to us. Mm. Oh, I see what you did. Uh, burger King is way better than, than McDonald's. That is true, though. So McDonald's. Their fries are trash, um, but their burgers are better. Wait, wait, but okay, but you see, you, you, but like what I'm doing to this, how you know the when we read about uh, Wendy's roasting other people? Yeah, was Burger King was trying to be controversial as that, trying to do something with Twitter? Well, this is definitely really good publicity, right? Yeah. I mean, like, as bad as it is, people, I mean, it's trending, right? It's like number two trending or something? Well, oh, it got read. Independientemente de si el. It's a lot of. Well, independientemente de, de si el, el, el internet es bien mamón. Primero que nada, ¿no? True. El internet es una mamada y, y les gusta el drama. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aparte, de todos modos, la gente que sí va a aprovechar el, los. ¿Cómo se llaman los. El mm, programa este? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. O sea, yeah, it's, out, it's already out there. Ya yeah, va a haber gente que sí está interesada. Y va a decir, uh, o sea, la gente que está enojada es gente que ni le interesa el programa de todos modos. Yeah. ¿Me entiendes? Okay, so I'm just curious, what was Burger King thinking was going to be the best possible reaction? They go, huh? Oh, wait a second. Oh, 20%? All right. You know, like, I mean, it's just, it, it especially, just, especially in International Women's Day. It Come just on. plays so weird. It's a weird thing to tweet. I, I don't know. It, it's, I just think whoever is reading, whoever tweeted that, because I could have tweeted something like that, and I wouldn't have thought people would take as much offense to it, especially yeah. when all it takes is clicking on that tweet and seeing that, oh, it's they're not being this, sexist. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have thought that yeah. it would have been go taken that, that way. And Can I was go? a little surprised, but at the same time, yeah. not surprised, because people are... 
They just get so sensitive over the dumbest little things. But come on. You didn't look at that at first and be like, uh, what? Like I, I thought it was I thought it was funny because I, I saw some memes about it too. Yeah. So you can saw, you go back to that? You picture? thought it was funny because it's like after the Twitter the post. Does it make sense? Gordo? It makes sense que see. um it makes sense que en pocas palabras. Por ejemplo, guacha, ahí te va, gordo. Verás, no regresate, no le hagas caso al husky porque estamos hablando del, del tema importante aquí. Regresate al primer al tweet y luego la respon- las respuestas, ¿no? Yeah, that's the one I was saying. Yeah. Because I wanted to see how much before they deleted ya it, how many ahí, Ya estabas reposts. ahí antes de que se fueran. Mira. Man, I want to see the tweets. Pero, este es mi, este mi punto, gordo. Si, si ellos no hubieran puesto women belong in a kitchen, no. Pero hubieran puesto el segundo párrafo, donde dice, we hear you. Uh-huh. We got our initial, initial tweet. Bueno. No, no, no. Where no, they're, no, no. they're no. announcing the... Es donde anunciaron el programa. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If they want si hubieran to... puesto ese, ese párrafo primero como tweet, no hubiera agarrado tanta publicidad no hubiera llegado a tantos oídos el programa no, como ahorita, como ahorita. Porque mm. gente que ni siquiera... Gente que... Mucha gente que, qui- que quisiera ser chef, n- no todos andan... Not everybody's following Burger King en el Twitter, ¿me entiendes? Yeah. Pero gente que quisiera ser chef, ahora sabe que Burger King está promoviendo un programa que, para, para darte la entrada a ser chef o alcanzar tus like, sueños ser chef. All publicity is good sí. publicity. Yeah. And, like, I'm just, I'm just thinking, be, pretend you're a girl, right? And you want to be a chef, a professional chef. And you're like, yo, what company is going to take me seriously, right? And then they see this Burger King tweet. And they're like, women belong in the kitchen. And you're like, hmm, well, they're not wrong because I want to be a chef. But mm-hmm. it sounds so bad. Like, it, it just start. It's like, it's like the bad first impression, you know? I don't know. I personally, I think... It could have done without it, but I think I see what you're saying because you're right. Yo pienso que es un chiste y no lo y y, y como todos los chistes, una mucha gente se va a ofender por el mismo chiste que este este chistoso. All right, all right. Could I could I add some input on something real quick? No, you're not a woman. Oh God! <laughs> With that deep, deep, deep voice. Got it. <laughs> Are they gonna right. play the the track? All right, all right. So one thing that oh my God. One thing that a lot of people brought to attention was if you look yeah. at the tweet and look at the first two tweets, right? They're pretty close together. Yeah. The very last tweet is two hours apart. And a lot of people think that Burger King just made that program out of nowhere oh. because they're like, oh, we messed up. No, wait, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure when I when the tweet was no. like still there, I clicked on it because I was curious to see like how far apart they were tweeted uh-huh. and they were all tweeted within one minute of each other because i clicked on the actual tweet before it was deleted yeah mm-hmm. me too i sent mickey a screenshot of it actually the yeah, screenshot we're looking was, at right it now was though like a, it was like at two in the morning because this is uk time obviously so here it would have been two in the morning when it was tweeted british because i remember that they were all i'm pretty sure all three of the tweets were tweeted within one minute of each other mm. that's all i wanted to add but they- that is a good theory I I what a the, uh this is this is a very uh tasty uh tweet if you will. So hot off the grill. The real question is Annette, now that you read this tweet, do you want to go and apply for their program? I'm the she worst never cook ever. Uh-oh. So definitely not. If cooking is your passion regardless of gender, go cook. Don't it let, is not my passion. Don't let your boyfriend Mm. Amazing. Also, let him cook for himself, right? Yeah. Women's rights. There yeah. you go. Boom. Got him. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to marry a chef so he can cook for me because I'm definitely not the cook. Or, 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 or marry a rich guy, and they have a chef on the spot. That's true. Oh. And you're gonna make sure it's a girl. That's Dang. true. Wow. Damn, I we did that. it. We just, be, we just, uh. we just did it. No, uh, like if you want me to cook for you, it's gonna be like, here you go, babe. Amaru Chan, enjoy. Tosti, tosti locos. Else. Dude, bomb. I'd eat that every day. Well, I wouldn't eat that every day, actually. We're ordering pizza every single day. Because I, like I can't cook. Uh, pizza. Pizza. What about mac and cheese? Oh, I like Ramen? My mac and cheese. I recently had lobster mac and cheese. It was pretty good. Lobster mac? Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah at the hub. I had it at the hub. I, I had it really at know. Claim Jumper. Oh. That was good. That place is open during COVID hours? Yes. Dude. You know, you got to ask because... You know, COVID uh, affected a lot of places. 
Like uh, my favorite wing place Which was? closed on uh, Wings Over Broadway. Nobody believed me when I told them that it closed. And uh, um, también la que está más lejos para allá. Oh, no, that one's open. I don't know about okay. that one. Pero but ya. the other one, nobody believed me. I kept telling people it was closed, and they're like, "You're such no, a liar." No, pero ya sabíamos uh -huh. que iba a cerrar la la primera. Yeah, yeah they were moving to a different so environment. environment. A different environment. Another I mean, building. No, o sea, you, you never want a business to close. You know, if they have multiple loca locations, you want them to. No quieres que sean. No quieres que sean especialmente si es la que te queda más cerca. Yeah, but is it still on Broadway? It's on Broadway and like almost Harrison, dude. Oh. It's it's not even Tucson. I'm sorry for non Tucson listeners. It's not even Tucson. It's so That's far like an east. Hour away. It's yeah. so far. I actually bought wings on Friday. To uh, I really wanted those wings, so mm. I spent a hundred dollars. I don't wings. blame you. As long as they don't move, uh, wings uh, on and rice. Uh, rings over. What was it called? Wings and rice. Wings, wings and rice. And rice. Yes. Ese lugar está bueno, please. Hey, los que me están, es oh, si sorry. me estás escuchando ahorita, please. Me está escuchando y si estás en Tucson o vienes a Tucson, ve y cala las Wings and Rice. ¿Cómo, ¿Por dónde está? ¿Cómo se llaman las calles? Swan and qué? Swan and... Shout out to Wings and Rice. Uh, Just look for it on uh, If Google. you're listening to this, you have a phone. Look it up. Yeah, yeah. look it up y luego... Do it now. Wings and Rice. Wings and Rice, please. <laughs> las Wings no son tan tanto pedo. They're not bad. Pero el It's arroz. It's the rice. It's definitely the rice. Porque you, dirías tú que Wings and Rice, what the heck kind, kind of combination is that? Pero es que vas ahí por el arroz en realidad. Come for the wings, go, yeah. stay for the rice. I was about yeah. to say that. No way. Literally took tender. the words right out of Dude. my mouth. Dude, <laughs> hell <laughs> yeah. Ahí me la encontré. Uh, Pima and Craycraft. There you go. Me and, me and Address is 5502 East Pima Street. Me and Zay, me and Zaya, we claim, we claim to have a. Uh... I thought you actually said that. I was like, whoa. Shout out, shout out to here. Wings and Rice. Hey, no, no, no nos querrán hacer sponsor. We should ask. That would be nice. That'd Anyways, be cool. Estaría cura. Yeah. All right, moving on. Moving on. Anet. Yes. Quiero que siempre que estamos en algún lado cuando vamos a tomar café en el en el este me me sales con una cosa nueva. Y no me acuerdo qué fue lo último que me estabas diciendo que era. Oh, I don't know, honestly. Si no, honestly. háblame. Si no, háblame de las morenas esas gringas que no sé qué pedo. Oh, okay. Um, no, it's because me and Mickey, we go on coffee dates. Semi-regularly, nice. every once in a while. Platonic. I'll be like, let's go. Especialmente a black pack. Yeah. Me and Mickey are not dating, full oh, disclosure. Geez. Somebody started a rumor about that once, by the way. What? How? Wait, ¿qué? That me and you were Recientemente o hace un frío? No, it was, years, it was like a few years ago. Okay. Hey, Satan is your La net es mi carnala Para los que no sepan Oh yeah Mickey's okay. literally my brother <laughs> Literally incest No mames uh, I, I don't know who Pulled that so out like, of their ass But that no was, was a, a rumor Incest Or all around <laughs> cest. It's just not right no, It's, it's just cest. Cest. Me and Mickey argue like siblings too Amazing yeah. eh, and, and, and it, Cuéntame entonces ¿Qué me estabas tratando de decir Que las gringas se, Oh it's cause era? Cause I was telling Mickey I was asking him What he thinks about Like the term that they coined for it is black fishing have you guys heard oh, of it oh eso era no um like the documentary blackfish no not oh. that that's depressing i'm talking about girls with um it's like white girls ah, with uh, like an aggressive, aggressive tan that they look like they're black they try to look mm. more ethnic or i'm sorry more um, well i personally if you like tanning do it whatever But it hardly, if you go too far, it literally looks so ugly. You look orange. Stop editing your yeah. pictures to look orange. This is the public service announcement. If you do that, stop. So yeah. kind of like how Kylie Jenner did it. Um, kind of. Oh, a lot of people accuse like, them of that. El like caso es que, did you see her before? Yes, yeah, Ariana, Ariana Grande. Grande. A lot okay. of people accuse her of El caso es que las fotos que me enseña la net... Son morras que se miran mejor cuando están tan. No mames. I don't mm. think I don't think they look better at the tan no, because I think they it looks ugly. Alex, vete a fotos, really no te vayas a este. It does because some Mickey's people right. can pull off a tan, but I feel like the ones I was showing him, it's like overwhelmingly like See, you're really like, trying to look black. The reason why not. the reason why uh, bodybuilders like to tan is because it shows off the musculature, like a lot of detail in your in your yeah, muscles. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I could see I could see why people would want to tan generally just because it, it shows it makes you look a little bit more athletic or, or maybe maybe not more athletic, but more fit. Well, the whole tanning thing started when like Coco Chanel went to like vaca went on vacation and she came back with the tan and people admired her. So everybody wanted to tan. And I get it. Some people do. It does make you look healthier sometimes because it makes your skin look like glowy, dewy, whatever. Yeah. But people take it too far sometimes and it just looks ugly. Like yeah. Jersey Shore. Yes, like that. That's what I'm talking about. I pero think hay, that looks ugly. Pero hay gente como Jer Jersey Shore, que es un show, ¿verdad? Yeah. 
hay gente que vive en esas áreas que su piel se les hace tan naturalmente porque se le llevan en el sol. Oh, yeah. También yeah. no puedes evitar eso. Like people in Miami. Oh. Also, wear sunscreen. Yeah. You're still gonna tan if you wear sunscreen, but wear it. You don't want skin cancer. Yeah. Yeah, skin cancer is no joke, dude. Uh, las fotos que me ha enseñado la net, a mí sí me gustan las, las morras gringas más morenitas. Well, I showed Mickey a TikTok about it because there's this girl on TikTok who has like a series called Is She Is She Black or Is She Just Black Fishing? Uh, or like, no. is she a white girl with like an aggressive tan? A ver, saca tu TikTok ahí. Uh, Batallarías mucho para encontrar. No, you could just look it up. If you look up Blackfish, I'm sure it would come up. Blackfish and TikTok. Yeah, you just look it up. Mm. It, it'll pop up. And she she covers the girl's face. And you just see the body and you guess like, oh, that's a black girl or it's a white girl. I always get them wrong. I mean, the line is getting blurrier and blurrier as we go on. Because, you know, people just kind of hop on these trends and kind of... They try to look. They try to look as uh, what like what's cool right now. Mm. Is it is it is it un is it incorrect to say black people are cool? Like it's what's trendy. I mean, it is. I think so okay. because a lot of people want those like ethnic features. That's like, what I'm. Yeah, exactly. Like everybody wants bigger lips. A ver, bigger but butt. Dale para arriba, yeah, Alex. More plump. No, 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 more no, no, no te vayas muy recio porque no saben. Ya, ya me perdiste. Here, look, I'll find one. I'll send it to you. Is it Alex? Pues, sí, pero el Alex... Send it to the Hape Levis. No saben ni qué pedo. Hape Levis pod? No, just Hape Levis. Just Hape Levis. El caso es que había una morenita ahí, pero el Alex la perdió bien rápido porque anda... Le da bien recio en él. What do you feel about... Okay, like, say... Say you're Mexican and you're dark, but not really dark. And you really try to lean towards, like, looking black. I mean, is that right or wrong? Because you're kind of close, you know? You're not tanning. Yo digo que, yo digo que la pregunta no puede ser, is that right or wrong? Eso me not that it's right or wrong, but do you feel se like... Se mira bien o no, se, o no, eso sería mejor. Porque es, lo único que puedo hacer yo es opinar. Right, yeah. right, right. I can't say it's right or wrong. Well, Nomás I guess the, igualmente es subjective to say... It, does it look good or does it look Ajá. good? Ajá. Entonces, personalmente, tendría que ver la foto, la, la persona que tú estás criticando y yo decirte en mi opinión. Ah, oh, sí, se mira demasiado pirata. Pero pícale ese, ese, Alex, esa es, creo. Pícale. Did you want sound for that? Ah, uh, pues sí, a ver qué dice el vato. No sé si la net va a encontrar uno mejor, pero... Well, I, I found the one that I was telling you. A ver, mándalo. I'll, I'll send it to you guys. Okay. Mándalo. Pero... I mean to play this one, I guess. Annette, de todos modos, ¿de dónde sacaste tú que...? Oh, que... my God, that's a white girl. ¿De dónde sacaste...? Si es pura música, no la pongas. Si no están hablando. Yeah. Entonces, no. Oh, yeah. Wait, what were you saying about me, Mickey? Si, ¿de dónde sacaste tú que está bien pirata esto? Como nomás te topaste gente criticándola y, y, y well, tú brincaste... Well, I've, al... I've seen a lot of people talk about that, kind of like the whole culture appropriation thing. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. And personally, I, I think there's a fine line between following trends and culture appropriation uh -huh. i'm not gonna say oh she's wearing braids she's appropriating the culture or whatever uh -huh. but i definitely do think that there's people that fetishize certain cultures and want to so badly y eso no lo miro mal like yo that. i just think lo que miro mal es que le faltan el respeto a la, ugly. a la cultura sí. it honestly does i'm like y why are you eso, so obsessed with looking hideous en ese lado <laughs> si, si lo dices de esa manera respeto tu opinión cuando tú estás diciendo a mí se me hace que se mira feo eso te, lo, lo respeto pero decir que alguien fetishizen algo eso no es no está mal si no le faltan el respeto es no está mal fetishizing something is it just means that you deeply like it no más yeah are you obsessed over it pues sí eso no eso quién quién te puede tener qué qué hay de mal en eso I don't know I... Uh, like you I'm, said, a lot of times it's disrespectful the yeah. way people go about it. Yeah, but that's, that's also subjective. That oh, I send it to the hate levis. I don't think that he's getting it. Yeah, no, because nothing's logged into the TikTok okay, here. Hold on, give me a second. I'll send it to Husky. <laughs> Ew. You sound oh. like Cardi B. <laughs> oh, es que no. No puedo recibir mensajes en el en el en el Yeah, no, we can't. ¿Y qué es eso que se mira ahí como mensajes entonces arriba en esquina? Notifications. Y ahí no te llegan textos. No. How many accounts do you have? Because I looked up Hate Levis and there's like either somebody's like impersonating you or something. There's other Hate no, Levis. That would be the greatest compliment if we get <laughs> sí, a, si alguien... a fan account. <laughs> sí, sí, oh, si alguien... oh y'all got fans? Well, yeah. there, should, there should be somebody just like out there trying to make clips from us. For us. Eso estaría curada, la neta. That would be nice. Neta, clip show. Fuera de onda, funny. al Chile. 
desde ahorita lo digo, si alguien tiene un YouTube channel y nos se llega a encontrar nosotros, ¿no? Y empieza a agarrar clips, clips de nosotros y que están chistosos, que le gustan a ellos y los corta y los pone en su canal y su canal hace blow up mucho más que nosotros, no le hace. Que agarre su dinero y si le empiezan a pagar a él, que agarre su feria y no le hace, ¿me entiendes? Well, if they, if they get lifted up, then we get lifted up by association. Sí, it's our y, clips. Y pero, pero por ejemplo, mi, mi punto es que Nunca voy a decir, hey, they're using my Now content. Let's go What to the, the notes. Heck? Oh, like, It's you're using there. my content. Yeah, no, I yeah. don't care. Si alguien llega a hacer eso, hey. I agree, I agree. Chase the bag, baby. Yeah, y empiezan a agarrar, que empiezan, que tengan 10 mil followers de puros hate players. Clips, I right? made you money? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> que no. But, you know. Ah, right. ya me acordé el otro, el otro trend, pero vamos a terminar oh, esto. Oh, okay. El otro right, cosa que me estabas diciendo. Is it unmuted? Uh, le tengo bajado el volumen, nomás ponlo. A ver qué dice. Is it a black girl or a white girl with an aggressive tan? Let's see how you can do this episode. You just guess. I want to preface this video by saying I do not encourage the bullying or harassment of any of the girls in no? that Not yeah. all the girls in this video are no, an aggressive tan or are black fishing, but some are. Right. But I digress. Here's our first girl, and you know the memo. A ver, ponle pose. If you get... Oh, she took it off too full soon. Um, Alex, it's more rapid, no se plomo. I did, I tapped it and it took too long. Okay. Right. Uh, well, it's obviously a white girl. Yeah. I can't tell. <laughs> What? How Mickey. do you know it's a white yeah, girl? Yeah, yeah, oh, you can't I tell. For, I forget. I can't Mickey's tell. colorblind. No, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. He doesn't see I can't race. Tell. I can't tell. She's a white girl. Get look at this. Okay, she's a white girl. Her face. How? Here, here comes explain. Mickey. Here comes Mickey. Somebody explain it to Mickey, please. A ver, explíqueme tú, gordo. Uh, the features are, are way more European. O sea que, what are European capacity? features? O sea que no puede existir negras que tengan esos features, okay? Según tú. Mm, I'm Según tu inteligencia. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Entonces. Why are you starting this? You can por just eso, tell por eso quiero saber. Por eso yo like quiero saber cómo saben que es blanca la morra. People just have look at her face. Nat, like her, the color around her eyes is too light compared to the color of the rest of her. Eso skin. puede ser maquillaje no también. Yeah, that's, look at her that's like more makeup. Tan and but stuff. it's just I don't know. Like es the... lo que no entiendo pues yo 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 sinceramente si veo esta morra en la calle o veo sus fotos no voy a deducir. Ah, esta morra es blanca, what the heck? No Look, me... I haven't I haven't studied people's faces deeply to be able to give you exactly the words, but the proportions, the the features, the brow, the way the nose is structured, they just all look more European. I don't know how to explain it to you other than she looks white. I know. She looks white. The, y eso es lo, es lo que se me hace bien pirata a mí, ¿ves? Que, que, están, que están asumiendo nomás porque su, por supuestamente las negras no pueden tener esos features. All right, moving on. Next That, one. Next one. Vamos. See if we can get another one. Okay. De todos modos, aparentemente, según esta sí es blanca, ¿no? O esta, ella misma va a decir o no? Oh, yeah, she'll say. Okay, okay. Dale. a ver qué dice. You were correct. Here yeah. Okay, pause it, pause it. Okay, just, I guess, look at everything. You can't see her face. They have it covered. A ver, a I want to say, ver, I want to see that's a black person. ¿Y por qué? Look at her feet. Just why? Just because. Yeah. <laughs> that's, well, you know what? Tanning. If you, if you're tanning. Es cierto. Es cierto. Lo que dijo el Alex es cierto. No, I, but if you're tanning, you, you're. I mean, this is, if you're tanning standing up, you're not gonna get the bit, the sole of your feet. No, but. Pero her feet are still. Uh, el, el Alex me dio le, en este en este me convenció al instante porque eso tiene sentido, ¿me entiendes? Look at her feet. Eso se me figura que tiene mucho sentido. Like she's at least gonna have like sandal tan lines if she was wearing sandals at some point or you know how like the the hands of colored people uh they're like sort of very white like on the the super this one's really gonna get away from us oh, by the way. Palm, palms are always white pero right. también alcanzo a notar un poco como que el cabello eh, se mira planchado Flatter, pero yeah. todavía como no sé cómo se le puede referir al cabello con las puntas están así como oh okay okay i know what you mean it's oh. not it's planchado but it's not like how your hair would look not like slick uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, okay, play it. Only? Second girl, and she is a black girl. Oh, she was a Amazing. Well, Pero when I first, bonita, the first few that I saw of this, I got all of them wrong. Está más bonita esta morra que la otra. But she doesn't look very black to me. Because she look all natural. A ver, explícame eso gordo otra vez ahora sí. The same, the same deal. Same deal. Los I, features. I think that she has European features. Ex eso no, eso no, no lo entiendo eso por qué. Por qué están tratando de... I don't you know, know how to tell you this. No, All es que no es la primera, no es la primera vez que lo oigo esto. <laughs> no es la primera vez que lo oigo, por eso estoy, por eso estoy yeah. criticando tu forma de pensar eso. Porque la net ya me había dicho eso también. Well, well, I don't know how to explain sorry. it. You just have to have that like... I, es que no estoy tonto. Yo, I went to school it, with this girl, dude. She's Mexican. <laughs> No estoy tonto, yo he, visto, yo, yo he visto que hay features que dices, oh, esos features son de negros. 
Pero no mames, también he visto los features de negros, entre comillas, en gente blanca. Ok, let's just say the more common trope or physical features of black people. O sea, LG, there was a whole genocide in Rwanda because some African American or some African people looked more European because of cross, like, you know? Cross, cross like, breeding? breeding? Yeah, cross breeding. But, you know? Yeah, no? Yeah, exactly. Like, pe black people with European features thought of themselves as superior. So they started cl uh, killing the, like, native Africans who were, like, 100% African. Do you all get that? But yeah. they were both still black. Wait, los, los, yeah, los que tenían I mean, European features mataron a los que no tenían European o al revés? I, I'm not sure. I don't okay. remember very well. Es que I don't know. No, I didn't live that time. Let's move on. You're in this beautiful water. It's going to be a white girl. <laughs> this is a hard it's one. It's going to be a white girl. Like oh, the, the, the play buttons. The play like, buttons. Play yeah, buttons right right there. No se le miran los pies para... Skip it. Just play it. Just play it. Let it roll. Brown skin, but white skin girl. I knew it. We have a duo. Oh. They're going to be white. They're white. I just know they are. That's a white girl's eso? arm. They're so white. I just, I, you I don't know how. It's just because they're looking black, así, pero quiero saber qué piensan ustedes. I like how you're it's, like, it's just because... tell me why. It's like, no, no. I, we're just guessing. No, no, no. Pues sí, pues <laughs> quiero saber qué es lo why que está en tu that? cabeza, sí. Porque okay. yo te, yo sé lo que está en mi cabeza, pero no sé lo que está en tu cabeza si no me lo dices. No mames. Okay. <laughs> I don't know a... how to explain it other than like. <laughs> o sea, you this is a. Tell me what you think. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. I am telling you what I think. Watch it. This is a podcast. La gente está escuchando. We try to turn visual stuff into words. Okay. About okay, that. Okay. Okay. Let's stop playing TikTok videos. I know, right? Just keep. Let's go. Arbus. Something about something about the way the arms are and the way. <laughs> It's gonna sound really stupid. I, I, you know what I think Something it is? Something about the way her, her arms are in the left, she just seems white to me. I, I think it's just like the... Uh, Mickey's gonna criticize it so much. I think it's the, the color. Like, she looks more orange than like... Yo no puedo criticar brown. nada que tenga que ver con colores porque no noto tonos que tú notas de todos modos. Exactly. Pero, That's what I'm saying. Pero yeah, tú me lo, puedes descri pero me lo puedes describir de perdida. Look, well, I could be totally to... wrong. As soon as you play, I, I could be completely wrong. Play it. But it's a Wayne's Brothers. It's a Wayne's Brothers. The, these, these two on the side, they look black. No, they the don't. one on the left does, but the one on the right yeah, doesn't. Yeah, the one on no. the right looks white. Okay, maybe just a shade. Okay, play it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess what these cheerleaders are? Can you guess a black girl? What? Oh, 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 that was mal, gordo. I was oh, wrong. Dude. I was wrong. And Wait, I that's crazy. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. It's black and white. That's crazy porque la que yo la que girl. yo pensaba que era más blanca es la negrita y la más y la que creía y pues la otra wow. las dos se me hacían blancas a mí pero pensaría que la de la, la de la izquierda era Ooh. más blanca que Can I can I bring something up Mickey? La verdad. Notice they're obviously two different races but they look the same like skin tone wise. Mhm. Mm Don't just think that's like weird like how uh, your tan her tan doesn't look good to me. I feel like it just no doesn't go with her features. No se me hace raro ni mal. I don't think it goes with her features ¿Tú qué the piensas, gordo? The... I personally, my, as, as far as my personal taste, I think that's overdone. But yes. it's, not it's not inherently it's bad, I don't think, because it, there is a whole, there is a whole like, uh, thing about it, right? Because she, she doesn't look black to me. She just doesn't look... Uh, Like she, I don't know. She just looks tan, but I feel like if she would have tanned tan. a little bit less, it would look better because a tan can enhance your features yeah. and whatever you do can enhance it. But when you completely try to change your certain features about you, like it just doesn't look good. It doesn't go with the architecture of your. And and self. here she actually looks orange. Like that's they an orange look skin orange, tone. Orange, and I don't know why they like that. I honestly. Invite an orange girl to this podcast, please. Pero estás queriendo decir que las dos se miran anaranjadas hoy o no? Es mi pregunta. Porque si si supuestamente tienen the the same skin tone. It look kind of. Yeah, kind of. Las dos están anaranjadas. I mean, yeah, but. I guess, but I just think like look at the faces. The black girl, it goes so much better with her skin. It obviously looks better on her. She has a more reflective face. Ah, será porque estás, ¿cómo se dice? Estás impuesta nomás a eso. Maybe. ¿Qué tal si existiera? ¿Qué tal si existiera un 36% de gente en el mundo que se miran exactamente como la de la derecha ahí? y ya estuviéramos impuestos a ver? Naturalmente, no, no diríamos nada. I don't know. Well, there is a lot of people that like to go tanning to achieve that color, and it is natural because you can get your tanning tanning beds, the it's sun, kind of, whatever. It just it still doesn't look good though. It's kind of ironic to me that uh, white girls are trying to look super tan like this. 
when there's like Mexican girls trying to look super white. Oh, I know. But it's so and they're and them. they're like very in like they won't go out in the sunlight. Like and this is also in Asia too. In Asia, they mm-hmm. have they have bathing suits that cover their whole face and their and their arms, like their body suits. But they cover their face, like you can see, just like little. It's kind of scary looking, but they got like openings right here, just so that they can go swimming, but not get tan. burned. It's because they don't want to have oh, yeah. like dark. They want to keep Pero their white complexion. La 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 humanidad siempre ha sido así. Las mujeres que tienen el pelo lacio se ven china. No, me refiero a que los you features con los que have. naciste no son los que quieres cambiar. Oh. Las mujer, la, la mujeres que tienen el pelo chino se lo hacen lacio, los que le tienen lacio se lo hacen chino, los que lo tienen café se lo pintan güero, los que lo tienen güero se lo pintan negro, ¿me entiendes? Yeah. Bueno, yeah. no, no te right. está cambiando más you're que right. eso, pero... I think it's like, especially, especially with, um, I think it's more <clears throat> common with women that you have that, that you want to change your features. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying it's more common. I'm sure there's plenty of men that still want to do, but with since I feel like women's bodies and features are so scrutinized. Yeah, no, like not just that, but they're so different. Like you can have a hundred different women and they just look so different. Where girl it's like and a white girl. Guys kind of always like there's like three types of guys. So like, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Question. Los like there's like the scrawny guy, the buff guy, the like there's just less variation in the body types Amazing. of guys. Is well, what I'm trying to say. Guys have a square shape or a triangular shape. We're talking muscular. If we're talking, ¿dónde estás tú, gordorita? I'm round. <laughs> <laughs> no me lo esperabas. <laughs> there's three. There's four types. There's skinny, right? And then there's like the the fat one that just kind of bulls out in the middle. And then there's a triangular shape, which is upper uh, shoulders, right? And then down to a narrower waist. And then the ones that have broad shoulders, but they're 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 still wide in the middle so they're more square gordo that's where i'm get, i'm trying to get to square i'm not going to get triangles tu vas a ver exactamente para donde voy oh god gordo are you a home depot kind of guy uh no cuántas veces al mes vas al home depot home depot i'm not i i don't subscribe to it aparentemente i will when i need to when i get my own place i definitely will con lo que te voy a decir y la neta lo voy a aclarar aparentemente and ultimamente it's trendy y las morras si quieres encontrar novia vas a tener Go que ser tu nombre de Home Depot sí mm. Home Depot, trend man? que me está diciendo la Nesbi well I was telling Mickey first I asked him I was like Mickey this might how, help me how often do you go to Home Depot how often do you go Mickey yo voy como dos veces al día oh but that's because your job requires yeah, yo it trabajo, sí. yeah. oh yeah so Mickey because he works with like what would you call that what kind of job? Like With manual labor? Uh, Ma- handyman. Labor? I'm a handyman. Handyman. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Mm-hmm. So Mickey needs to go to Home Depot to get his tools. Adapters, I don't know what whatever. I don't know what you got. Whatever I'm fixing, yes. Get all that wood. And, yeah, pretty much. Oh, las morras también. There you go. So I was telling Mickey that since he goes so often, I was asking him if he's encountered women who are like super dressed up at Home Depot. And he was like, no. Why, why, would, I, why would I run into someone like that? And I was telling him that it's a trend right now, like on TikTok. That girls are, are always, because girls are always like talking about how, oh, my boyfriend built me this bookshelf or he built me this to organize this or whatever. Like sure, sure, sure. people yeah. are always jealous. Like, wow, like, where'd you get this Bob the Builder boyfriend at? Because I need me a man <laughs> like him. I need me a, a manly man. A hardworking handyman. <laughs> and it's like a trend that, oh, oh my where God. do handymen hang out? Vicky and is such Bob the Builder. And it's, it's like, oh, they're at Home Depot. So now girls are doing this trend where they'll like film themselves. They get ready. They put on tight dress. Y se ponen high bien heels. Para they ir get Depot. their hair done. And then they go to Home Depot with fully the intention to get themselves a man. Mickey, you need to change your aesthetic. You need to look like the Home Actually, Depot man. I could, I could agree to that. You need to wear more <laughs> flannels, Mickey. Hey, cause... my dad goes to Home Depot a lot. I'm going to have to like send him with like the... a bodyguard or something. Yeah, your dad needs, must be protected from no, these el, thirsty el, women. El, el, el tener varias rucas detrás de la, eh? Dude, Home women... Depot do like my dad i don't know why i have I ever told you guys about what the time that my why? dad got cat called he's oh. a sexy dad like they whistled at him and stuff well my dad was like outside of our house and he was i think he was working on my sister's car or my oldest sister's car <laughs> and you know he's like he's bent over that hood sure, he's sure. doing something i don't know what he's doing i don't, I don't, I don't know what the heck I mean, my dad's doing he does a lot of cardio <laughs> hey, hey gordo he's actually like with the sponges like, uh, <laughs> like uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, he, he's bent over the hood of that car and like oh, oh, some women, they, they drive by 
and they did slow he, down and they like holler at him. Did he pick up the shirt and just like dried his face? To Definitely show off his not. Ass? But yeah. I do remember <laughs> that my sister was there and she was like, "Dad, go inside." <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way they're looking at you. Get back inside. <laughs> yeah. I can't have people objectifying him. Your sister was like, I got you, mom. I Gordo. got you. <laughs> this, <laughs> this goes out to your sister. Gordo, el uh, caso es que vas a tener que empezar a ir a Home Depot más seguido. Aparentemente las morras se ponen bien buenas. Look, when I move out, I'm going to be building my own desk. So, yeah. I'm ¿Qué pasó, gonna, Alex? I'm going to be a man. Nah. What's up? Which Bob the Builder does Mickey look more like? Um, Ugh, the one OG. in the right. <laughs> yeah, the one on the right. Classic, Amazing. original mix. You can original already hear Mickey's recipe. voice on that too. When did they change Bob the Builder? Ugh, I don't like new Bob it's, the Builder. Uh, I don't like the new one. I think it's 2014. Yeah. Oh, he has pupils. Ugh. I don't. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. No, but I could agree I to that. Ugly. When I when I used to work for Home Depot and Kelly, uh, girls would actually go and be see a CSC and like, oh, I don't know how to do all this stuff. And then the guys that are like thirsty, you know, oh, if that would any, work there, they would actually build the stuff that they needed. If any women are listening to this, <clears> I <throat> hope you are. Um, <clears throat> I have a tip for you that I, I saw online. I haven't tried it out, but you try it out and let me know. Some some girl was talking about how her mom told her, she's like, hey, like, if you ever need to get something in your car fixed, like she needed to get like her headlight switched out because the bulb was out. So she's like, just Google it. Like, what type of bulb mm -hmm. does my car need? Then go buy it. Go to AutoZone, whatever, buy it, hang around outside, pop the hood of your car and just look confused until a guy approaches you. And he's like, oh, like, do you need help with that? Like, what are you doing? And just be like so confused, like, oh, man, I don't know what's wrong with my car. I don't know how to change this out. And sure enough, he'll do it for you and you won't have to pay him. You don't have to go get it changed at a shop or anything. A light bulb of all things, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't Those know. are so easy. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my car. If something's ever wrong with my car, I I call my brother in law. My brother in law's a mechanic. This is the funny. This is the funny thing about that. The, the he said. He said, do well. your research. Look up the part. Buy the part. Ha just stand around and just hope for somebody to just put it together for you. <laughs> you know what? That's what I would do. You make the patriarchy work for you. You did the An research international already. International Women's Month. That is what we're doing. All right, yeah, you know, take oh, it yeah, easy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, I mean, I don't do anything to my car. It could be the dumbest little thing, and I'm like, Dad. <laughs> Fix it. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Like, I don't know, it's making some noise. And they're like, can you describe the noise? I'm like, well, it's loud. Like, what else do you want me to say? <laughs> yeah. It's like, do you like Legos? Because it's basically Legos. <laughs> no. It's just Legos what, that look funky. Yeah. Shout out to my sister for marrying a mechanic. Thank Shout you. out to Andrew. Dude, hey, you have a mechanic in the family? You're set, dude. I have like everything in my family. Actually, I you never have a lot have of to do anything in, your... in my family. I do. <laughs> you're set. Yeah, your cousin is my is Ooh, my mechanic. Actually, my cousin recently changed out some thingy for my car a few months ago. A thingy. It was I don't know what it was. I didn't order the part. I, I told my brother in law vroom? my AC's not working and he looked up the part and he just sent me the thing. link. I just ordered it. And then when I got there, I took it to my cousin, and my cousin changed that out for me. Was it the AC condenser? I don't know. It was just some, like, big pipe thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was. I don't know how to was describe it. Was it the 1.1 gigawatt? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Next question. Amazing. Okay. Anit, ¿tienes algo que decir? ¿Lo quieres decir? Es que quiero cambiar. Moving on. Okay. Moving on. Uh, oh, I just wanted to say one thing. Arrepentar. Just to close that. Dale. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do whatever you want now because of YouTube. You can be your own mechanic. I no, literally yeah, yeah. have my dad pump my own gas, okay? No, you don't. Then you're No, snowboard. you don't. Not all the time, <laughs> but like half the time. Then you're a snowflake. Dude, I mean, okay, do you know how to change your own tire at least? In I case wanna, of an emergency? I, okay, let me tell you. If this is my dad's fault, he's he coddles me. Uh, I was going to learn how to change my own oil a while Eres back. Una princesa. True. Not in a good way. <laughs> not in a good way. way. That's that's not no. good. You need to be able to oh, handle. I was, I was gonna change my oil, and I told my sister because my sister knows how to do that. She's married to a mechanic. I was like, hey, I need you to teach me how to change the oil on my car. Mm -hmm. So she was like, okay, let's do it. Come over tomorrow, and we'll do it. I was like, sounds great. I'm on my way tomorrow. You know, whatever. And the next day, I wake up, and my dad's like, oh, by the way, I noticed your car needed an oil change, so I went ahead and changed that for you. Mm. sick and i was like are you kidding I me like i'm trying bitch. to be an independent woman here and this is what you do to amazing. me amazing yeah and and the same thing like if i don't have gas my dad's like i put some gas in your car and just like that like 
Oh. He is a sweet man. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Oye, y también se sale prenderles el carro en la mañana que no cuando hace frío. Oh yeah, like in the morning. I when you go to, when I go to work, it's early in the morning. It's cold, so my dad will get up before me and he goes. He turns on my car, turns on the heater, so that the car is warmed up. And Shout out to Eve. And when it's time for me to go, I'll just get in the car and leave. Dude, he's warm setting car. up some unrealistic expectations. Um, question: <laughs> Do you know like, how to open a door? <laughs> Yeah, do you open your own doors? Do you I unlock the other? I actually do know how to open a door. Hit me up if you need a tutorial. Ah, <laughs> uh, three steps. How That's to the... open your own door. Three easy steps. Well, she does a video and then she can't even open it. She's like, wait. I'm like, yeah. dad. <laughs> no, but it's true. I call my dad for anything. My dad's the kind of guy that will drop anything and come help me out. It's yeah. happened before. He's he's a and he's he a good man. It. Yeah, he's, he's a good man. Best. I love your dad. He's the coolest. Oh, yeah, I love my dad too. Yeah. La neta que tú estás creciendo, tú estás creciendo en una en una uh, healthy household. Uh, he neta. hugged all the manliness. I think the household's pretty healthy, like overall. Amazing. Because um, and I'll just, tell you I what disagree. it is. It's it's definitely the fact that my dad has the sweetest what, heart. What what even is dad? What is it? What is a dad? I don't know. Oh I my god! Last <laughs> time I looked up Mickey's dad, I just found a bunch of thirst traps that he posted. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> Mi papá tiene, mi papá tiene como ocho Facebook uh, profiles porque yo creo que se le olvida la clase. He o sea, forgetting the password. Yeah, los ancianos, he ¿no? does. Y en todas tiene unas fotos bien, uh, ¿cómo le llamas? No? Thirst traps. Thirst traps. Not even catfish. He's, he does not look good. Like in is pictures. he like showing off? He's black fishing. <laughs> He's black. Fishing. He dark. He dark. <laughs> He, he does have funny, like a darker funny, complexion. I've never heard of the term black fishing, and now it's it's opened up a whole new. <laughs> I didn't know that's what mind. that was called. Honestly, yeah. I didn't know I had a term until recently. Uh, yeah, though it's good to know now. Let's move right, on. Let's though, move on because we got really uh, racist that last. Time. <laughs> um, let's go to the queries. What? Let's just get it no. out of the way. Oh, queries! Quieres entrarle? Yeah. yeah. ¿Cuánto tiempo llevamos grabando? We got a while. Van, a la torre van 50 minutos. Es que wow. yo quería preguntarle algo a la net, pero lo vamos a dejar para después. Bro, that was 50 Ooh. minutes. That's crazy. That is nuts. Necesitamos bajarle. Man. Es que cuando platicamos, no, está bien bueno el tema. Yeah. Mándale yeah. saludos a Felipe. Next episode is going to be one hour long. Felipe? Yeah. Sí, siempre nos Sorry, escucha yes. el compa Felipe. Shout out to Felipe. He's Felipe. one of the few men I respect. Ooh, Felipe, damn. On Women's History Month? History Month. It, it's rare for me. I feel like most guys I meet, I don't like. Amazing. And Felipe was one of those guys that nice. I was like, he's not that bad. He's, a, he, he's <laughs> not horrible. <laughs> I was like, wow, like a guy who... You don't hate. That's so rare. <laughs> Felipe, you listen to this? That's like the greatest compliment you can get from it a On Women's History Month? What the? As yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. know, she I She has no respect for any of us here. Men. So. <laughs> I respect you guys sometimes. Like, barely. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's mutual. It's mutual. Oh, right. you said I have a healthy household. And let me tell you, that the key to that is having a good dad. And a good mom. My mom's pretty cool. My mom's a badass. That's why it's so dysfunctional in Mickey's house. Oh, for real. Amazing. No yeah. good dad. No, but with, with, with my dad, he's like, he's the best. Like, top tier guys. You yeah. rarely meet someone that. Like. Honestly, uh, the real deal. Yeah. Like, he's I don't know realist. about you guys, but have you guys ever met someone's dad and you're just like, wow, like this person's dad sucks. Because yes. I feel like that's like half the people I meet. Yeah. That many? At least. The other half, their mom sucks. Oh. No, actually, let me change that. 75% of dad <clears throat> sucks. 50% of mom yeah. sucks. Wow. I'll admit it. So mom 125%. Sucks. You gotta. Uh. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> uh, you may. I'm just saying. You, you, know? got, you got that good dad having ass privilege. I mean, That's true. I do that think it's true. a privilege because, like, a lot of people, like, I have from friends that they pump their own gas. See, this is what I'm. This is what I'm saying, though. You're, you're, you're being set up for some failure in the future because you're not gonna know what to do when it's raining outside and nobody can come and change your tire. Oh yeah, Nick. You you, estás lista para para to come down to reality with us later on. What do you mean? Cuando ya no esté tu papá contigo. Oof. En tu casa, no literalmente que se vaya de este oh, mundo. Okay. No, oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Like, like, Manuel like, hey, Man. Man. va a vivir 100 años después de los primeros 100. No le hace. True. Mm. true, true, true. All right, we're going to go to the queries. We got right, let's go to six queries. of them. The I, wait, well, let me explain. We, we tend to drag these things, and then by then, it's like two hours long. Let's cut short, please. So we can do everything. So cut the check. Let's make, right. let's make it the hot seat. Let's yeah. go. All right, let's go. All right. Let's hey, go. Let's go. Queries. Que la net conteste primero si puede ella. Yeah. I'll answer one. All right, first Probably. one comes from Josué Yupis. He says, being the love experts, you are... 
You are your two favorite things about being with somebody. Josué, oh, structure that sentence. The, that's the, the way he texted. Dilo que el Josué lo tenemos aquí. ¿Cuál Josué fue? Choca. Tocayo, Tocayo, dilo que quisiste decir porque cagaste todo el palo más. Yeah, my bad guys, you know. Uh, I don't, can you Siri. repeat the question? Let's go, come on. Repítelo. Yeah, uh, reading disabilities, guys, my bad. Anyway, being the love experts you guys are, um, what are your two favorite things about being in a relationship? Okay, Anetu. All right, all you guys As are single. <laughs> mm -hmm. How do you know that? Excuse pero, me? But we, we've been in relation. Have you been in a relationship, Carla? Oof. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> LT's like, <gasps> moving on. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> all right, quick. What are oh, my favorite, two favorite things mm -hmm. about being in a relationship. Um, I guess just like having someone to hang out with. Like, yeah, I mean, mean, I hang out with you guys, but when I'm not hanging out with you guys, Go hang out with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> That's so yeah. well two put. Things. Two things. <laughs> Thank That's... you. Two things. Oh, another thing. Another thing. Uh, I don't know, honestly. Uh, para mí también uh, es que siempre tienes a alguien con quien comunicarte que no más. Yeah. Siempre um, tienes a alguien con quien comunicarte. Yeah. Cuando sales del jale ya sabes. Like, I like hugs and cuddles. Yeah. I like cuddling. Yeah. The other thing too is that you could build a... Uh, uh, a type of language between you two and nobody else knows oh and that, like language that. yeah oh uh, like inside language kind yeah of we used to like uh, just like, like what things mean yeah. with a look but just el, a look el husky se refiere al tipo marshall and lily ¿Cuál you know era what? La oh, oh they had different words no but what's it called <laughs> i think someone that i had that with is definitely like jess shout out to jess uh, i get to shout out this woman she's shout little, out one time she's el último episodio no aquí? i didn't finish it i listened to most of it ¿No but... que habló de ti también? Oh no, I didn't. It was, it was all bad. It was I all bad. Jess. She talked so much trash about she, you. Yeah. Aww, I love that. Aww. She's she's so honest. It I love well, that about though. her. Yeah, it works either Amazing. way. Yeah. Uh, I I love Jess, and I, I feel like I have that with Jess because something happens, and I just I just look at her like, did did you hear that too? Yeah. And she knows guys, like we have that telepathic communication. I've seen it. Yeah. I've seen. I've been in the room with you guys, both in the in the room, and just you're having a conversation with eyes. Yo he estado con las dos cuando me hacen pedazos en algún en algún argumento. That's true. Yeah. Ah, extraño esas veces. Me That's too. why he only invites one at a time. No, no, no. Está bien perrón llevar las dos. Keep them separate. Make it starts crying like. No, no. Está bien perrón llevarle las dos porque la Jessica es bien sensible macizo, pero cuando están juntas se hacen bien fuertes y puedo guys, y puedo alegar con ellas sin sin lastimar a ninguno. You guys yeah. know I dated Jessica, right? We dated for a few yeah. years. Amazing. And, no, I'm serious. Like, we would go out on our yeah. dates every Friday. We had our, like, scheduled everything. That's how I met you guys. Yeah, yeah. that's true. You yeah. did meet us on how did you, uh How did you maintain friendship? How did, <laughs> after breaking up, I'll admit, it was a bit, like, awkward at yeah. first. Because it's like, I don't know where I stand with her. Show, 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 that, show, show. I feel like, that, I feel that. It was like, funny because you both would come and talk to me. And I was like, I can't pick or choose which one I'm <laughs> citing. Like, well, oh, we used to hang out so much before we broke up. Hmm. I used to like live at her house practically. Like I would always be over there with her mom, with her at her house. It, it was weird. It definitely was weird because I'm just like, damn, like who am I gonna spend time with now? Yeah, oh. your picture now it's upside down with the cross too. Like, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, because I would go over. We would take naps together. We we did everything together. Aww. That's like, cute. Moving I, on. I miss those days. Yeah, let's but, move yeah, on. I still love her though. Shout out what time, Jess? Shout out to Jess. Yes, don't use me as a soundbite. Okay, uh, don't use me the, as a soundbite. All right, next one <laughs> oh, gotcha. comes from Adrian Misael. Okay, I'm gonna word it differently because of the way he said it. You've seen the movie Next with Nick Cage, right? Yo no la he visto. Oh no? Okay. Who's Nick Cage? Nick Cage is Nicholas the Cage. best actor oh, ever. Nicholas. Nick Cage. Oh, I know who Nicholas is. Have you seen the movie Next, <laughs> Gordo? Uh, a long, long, long time ago. What do you think about the movie? I don't remember. All right. So the movie, it's a pretty much that this guy could control time. There's oh. one scene, Mickey, que lo están disparando. Sí but, la he visto. Yeah, okay, so y está bien perrona. It's a good movie. Está muy buena esa película y deberíamos de verla si no se acuerdan de ella. Está bien chila, no yeah. me acordaba que existía esa película. Yeah. No. Porque a, mira... Would you say it's one of his good wait, movies? Eh, eh, estoy confundido, Husky. Estoy confundido porque... Like mira, mira, él mira, mira, mira different scenarios. scenarios en el futuro y escoge el mejor. You've seen Prince of Persia, right? With uh, no. Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. It's like es if you vato. get shot or you get hit by a car, you can rewind and go back and fix the error. Like click. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. Pero ese era forward nada más, ¿verdad? Yeah. It was oh, stuck on the forward. Oh, yeah. so uh, you, you could, like, 
go back and change yeah. There's one the scene instantly. There's one scene that the guy in front of him is shooting him, but it doesn't go revert back. You just see him fixing his errors as he's going, just walking straight to him. That's it's like, cool. No, no digas mucho. De, eh, Adrian, está perra en esa película. Yeah. Oh, is he recommending the movie? What was the question? He was saying, what do you think, think about, about the movie? It? Oh, what are your thoughts? Great yeah. movie, I guys. I think that Nicolas Cage has the potential to do some great, awesome, amazing Oscar performance worthy uh, stuff. And then he has doggy doo doo trash. All right, next one. This one comes right. from Tales to the Tub. Shout out well, to okay, our then. Uh, well, okay, Sister Rin podcast, Tales from the Tub. Uh, shout, shout out, out. one time. Uh, Tales from, the, from to the Tub says, Where is your happy, happy place? Oh. Les Happy va, place. Pues, les, va a ser, les va a ser bien curada esta onda. A mí me caga manejar. ¿Ok? Ok. Therefore, manejar has been turning into my happy place. Porque, it sounds counterintuitive, pero el contradictorio, está contradictorio porque el hecho de que me caga manejar, tuve que forzarme a Enjoy. relajarme cuando voy manejando, ¿me entiendes? Yeah. Eventually, it turned... Ahora, cuando me siento a manejar, estoy relajado forzadamente, tanto que siempre me relajo manejando. Okay, I have something to I add to this. I don't know what mental gymnastics you did <laughs> to, pull, to pull that off. It happens. Oh, I wanted to say, driving with Mickey, I'm sure Mickey's in his happy place, like, zoned out. It's scary if you're anybody <laughs> oh, yeah, in his car, yeah, yeah. because he gets his phone, he puts, like, a YouTube video on or something, and then he sets it on, like, the dashboard right there. <laughs> yeah. And he has, like, the steering wheels right here. And he's not even looking up at the street. He's looking at his phone. And he's just like... <laughs> no, one time, Mickey's like, oh, vamos. And mi carro, like, yeah, let's take my car. You don't have gas. I was like, I don't care. We're driving my car. Well, like I said, no. Mickey's in his happy place. Everybody else is, like... Mickey yeah. would be so fun Scared. to race in the go karts Oh, what's your favorite thing? I would love to race yeah. you, Mickey. What's your happy place? My happy oh, place? Man. My bed. Sleep. Okay. okay. I like okay. that. I, I, what about I, you? Too well. Uh, my. <laughs> you can uh, think about I'm it. I'm gonna well. say I'm gonna say my room too. Um, it's my bed is super comfy. I don't not necessarily just for sleeping. I just like I'm on TikTok for. Yeah, same. I'll be on my laptop, on my phone, on everything like at once. Uh, I yeah. So I only fun. have one device because I'm poor. Amazing. Nice. My happy place. Uh, two place. Uh, actually, three places. Disney. Uh, a record store. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Places outside. Big fan. Anyways. No. A record just... store and uh, night drives. A ver, di otro. Okay, okay, uno okay, más, okay. uno más, uno más. QT. Quick trip. Quick trip is my happy place. <laughs> I'll say quick trip find, uh, only if it's at 5 a.m. Because the 5 a.m. Uh, quick trip crew is chill. Uh, 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 yes, yes. Uh, I, I, like, I like quick trip. I like the idea of going to quick trip and getting my monster. And they're so good about... Like oh, checking hey man, you out up, yeah. super fast. Like if, if if I don't know I don't know why it's so lame, but I love the experience of going to Kito. Those that don't know, know, Quick Trip is a gasoline station that also has great customer service and uh, actually well great burritos or not like that. Well, there's a like, good variety have. of food in there. Yeah. Try try the buffalo chicken bites. Mm-hmm. I've never tried those. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <this laughs> sold me, dude. <laughs> now I want it. Ay, gordo. They have good. They have good hot food. Ahí yeah. les va un, un, para terminar. Si sí, lo nos movemos okay, al otro. Yeah. Um, Home Depot me encanta el Home Depot, pero definitivamente no es mi happy place porque siempre que voy ahí me Ando puedo entre, me entretengo un frío, pero sé que no tengo dinero para comprar nada de lo que quiero ahí. So then you get mad again. Sí. Y ahí estoy, <laughs> ahí estoy nomás agüitado y <laughs> deprimido. I've seen, I've seen We Mickey literally like gave Mickey a, a gift card to Home Depot for his birthday. Me lo gasté el mismo día. <laughs> Same day. <laughs> yeah, You're like, I have a list of things I want, and I want. No, that. I don't think you could buy much with it. It was only a hundred bucks. Eran cien dólares, pero de bola. Oye, legit, I want a power drill. Pero uh, Guitar Center sí es mi happy place. Moving on. All right, next one. This one, just give me a straight yes or no. We're not gonna. We, we still got a lot. <laughs> this one comes from Jesse. He goes, Should I come dressed up as a girl next episode, or is that gender appropriation? Yes, it's, it's not gender appropriation. Come dressed as a girl. You don't. can do whatever you want in 2021. Do whatever the hell you want. I would say yes. But also, yes, I don't want you to. But pick a good outfit. I yeah. will roast you if you show up looking ugly. Oh, no. you should roast yeah. him. Dude, he's going to be snatched. Get like. tanned. Uh, uh, black fishing. Please dress up as a girl. Yes. Wear a we corset. Espérate. But the... Vente vestido de morra. Ah, nomás di que eres gender binary, yeah. 
Like, do whatever the hell you want. Just do it right. I swear to God, what he's going to do is he's going to dress the same. He's just going to have a wig and probably makeup on. And that's it. It doesn't matter. He's not going to be on the podcast. Anyways, we need women. Let's go to Zoomer News. (laughs) All right. This one comes from... Yeah, no, we still got two more. This one... uh, (laughs) Actually, uh, going into this, we've gotten a lot of good feedback about having uh, Jess and Kari here. Really? uh, That we're actually going to... Uh, do a Sobras but Hey Chicas episode. So we're gonna have Gary and Jess back. Not sure when, so keep a, an eye out on that. So we'll announce it or something. One like. of the fans that actually really loved that uh, podcast, she did give uh, uh, comments on that, like what she's wanting to see for the future. She said, uh, finally. But she also put a query and she goes, How do y'all feel about pineapple on pizza? Mint Guinness. chocolate <sighs> chip ice cream and cilantro. Okay. Wait, Not can, all together. Es esa persona? I don't know, but this is Savage Souls. Está en en Pi- en, uh, en Google. Or, digo, uh, en, this was came from Hey Pleves Pod Mail. Oh, in a Gmail. Pineapple yeah. on pizza hey, we got has a been Gmail, debated huh? so much times. So we've already talked about this. Okay, so like, really quick. Yes. yes or no? Pineapple on pizza. No. Yes. No. I can eat it, no. but I will never crave it. Yes, right. I I will crave it. Mint chocolate chip ice cream. Hey, ah, yes. madre. I love it. Madre. It seems like you took toothpaste. Yeah. And then like. Lo revolviste con chocolate. Man. Pretty much. If it's the only thing that you got to eat, sure I'll do it. No I way. I will dude. literally it's, never it's eat it. Good. I hate the smell. The smell makes me want to throw up. That's freaking nasty. Yeah, the smell is no weird. Well. I'm gonna yeah. smell it and then throw up on the person next oh. to me. Listen, mint takes me to peppermint, which takes me to candy canes, which is Christmas. If you don't want Christmas in your mouth, I don't know what you're doing. I don't want Christmas in my mouth. Well, yeah, why would you, you want Christmas? I don't know what you're doing. I want Christmas in my <laughs> mouth. Yeah, okay, so Alex and Tokai said no too, right? No, Tokai okay. said yes. To what? Pineapple or ice uh, the uh, mint? I don't know. They're moving on. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cilantro. Yes. Oh, yes. it's because 100%. Cilantro tastes good, but some people have a gene that makes it taste like soap. Yeah, and that's what There's she put to. There's a gene that, that. I thought it was just people's preference. No. no white people, man, I swear. Yeah. But, um, are, are you serious? Yeah, some people, yeah. to them, it tastes like soap, and it's a genetic thing. Yeah. So I, I don't blame you if you don't like it, because you are you have that gene. Because uh, you're mutants. I, I have a query for you guys involving cilantro. Go ahead. So if you ever go to the store and buy it, you know how it's always wet. Have you ever thrown it at someone? What? Why? <laughs> I, no. I used to throw wet cilantro at my mom. But okay. We're not 12, Alex. Just because on. he was 12. <laughs> Pretty, he still is. Pero para qué, Alex? ¿Cuál era? Because it's wet and you like it's to slap people with thing. wet things. It's like one of those oddly satisfying was this, things. Was this a Zoomer kind of thing to do, like eating Tide Pods? No, I was like, okay, I was like since we're in the same uh, ballpark, you ever gone to the to let's say Food City and put your hand in the beans? Oh yes, el yeah. arroz, el arroz, el arroz. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things. It's just like you just want to do it. You just want to put your hands in the beans. <laughs> oh yeah, gordo. Yeah. El cilantro. Yo no contesté. Yo no contesté. El cilantro. Uh, yo no tengo nada en contra del cilantro, pero nunca lo he hecho a mi comida por mi propia cuenta, porque resulta que se me se me inflaman las sencillas a mí con el cilantro. Oh, you're cilantro? Cilantro? Lo descubrí cuando comía ceviche. Cuando como ceviche, uh, yeah. se, se, sentía que se me hinchaban las encías. No me duele ni nada, nomás lo siento, lo puedo sentir en, yeah. aquí. ¿Cómo se llaman las encías en inglés? Gums. Uh, gums. Ok, se me, se me inflaman, ¿no? Yeah, Mickey got swollen gums when he eats. That's not gum. shellfish allergy? No, eso Swole es lo que gums. pensaba. Yo creí que era el pescado o algo así, ¿no? Uh-huh. Pero luego, pues yo siempre lo notaba. Pero empecé a notar que cuando no había cilantro, no me pasaba. Mm. Entonces dije, ah, pues ha de ser el cilantro. Y después ya lo hice de adrede, averigüé. Y sí, sí, es el cilantro que me. No me duele ni me da comezón ni nada. Nomás una reacción mínima. Does it get like puffy? Uh huh. That's so interesting. Yeah. I've never heard of that. Yeah. I don't taste the soap, but I could care, uh, couldn't care less about it. I like if I feel put it, put it, yeah, cool. I put just it, gotta but, know. Uh, uh, I, like I gotta know when they say it tastes like soap. <laughs> what do you taste when you taste soap? So oh, ha- why are you tasting soap? That's exactly. what I want to know. <laughs> exactly. Right. Like, how do you know it's soap? <laughs> this one, I'm gonna throw it to Mickey so you can read it because I'm gonna, because I'm gonna creamy? mess all this up. Is it in Spanish? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the top. Ah, está bueno. Oh, yeah, that's why I left it. This no, one, no yeah, that's no what I wanted to say. No lo puede poner Alex en el... Alex, pon en la pantalla, vete al Gmail. Let es me un, read it. Yeah. Es, we, no, es que quiero que vean la foto. Oh, it's a picture? Sick. Uh, is, pero, it, wait, is, it of, is it one of the submissions? No. Es el Willy. No, el... Uh, Keep on going down. Willy. Pero, Willy. Lo voy a leer de todos modos. No, hey, no pongan atención a la pantalla, please. Okay, Mírenme. Okay. Okay. Ahí va. El Willy dice, hey, plebes, tu amigo Willy aquí. Uh, entrando en la teoría de en la teoría conspiratoria suponiendo que el COVID es parte de World Control Population ¿creen que es una buena manera para hacerlo o debería existir una ley mundial 
como la que solía tener Sheena de solo tener un descendiente por pareja? ¿O qué harían ustedes? O sea... All right, please, uh, okay, okay. please say it in English. Please oh, okay. say it in English. Explain it. Yeah. ¿Y cómo creen que afectaría el mundo en la última pregunta? Dale. Wait, do you want to women's plan it? The, yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, I can women's plan it. Okay, I mean, go. LG loves men's planning. Anyways. Yeah, he I'm does. sorry, I'm getting... I'm There he goes again. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to be better. So the question is asking that, assuming the conspiracy theory that COVID is a population control... Uh -huh. um, mechanism. What would you call it? Yeah, mechanism. Uh, do you think that it's an effective population control mechanism or... Should we do something like China's one child mandate? Oh, okay. Right. Which is not even in effect. Well, What? it was in effect. Pues sí, ya, ya se controló por eso en China. Yeah. So are we saying that we should do it here? No, I'm just saying, was it effective? Uh, do you guys think work? population okay. control is like something we need to control like that through um, ¿Qué piensas, Gordon? laws? I think there's a lot of open spaces in different, in different parts of the world. I think that we just have a lot of uh, congested areas. But like honestly, the world is vast. Cuando there's so much space in just here in Tucson. Like outside of Tucson, there's so much space. You can make a new city. Then there's deforestation and like animal like territory. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think it's. Yeah. I think, I think the population's okay. It's just that people don't distribute. There's like a imbalance. Uh, yeah, imbalance of distribution within resources Agreed. like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Es lo que digo, lo, lo, cuando se refieren que the world is overpopulated, no se refieren al espacio, se refieren a resources versus no, como, yeah. Yeah. como se va gastando resources the yeah. cost of living versus Earth. yeah. Look, for me my question is if you've seen um idiocracy, that's the way I feel too. <laughs> Los mensos siguen reproducing y cual los smart ones no hacen nada. Yo creo que va a llegar un futuro donde donde de, decir hacer un mandate donde solamente puedas tener uno o dos hijos va, va no hemos llegado ahí no creo que ya estemos ahí no. pero si sí va a llegar un punto donde va a, va a ser una ley eso hey no puedes tener más your, de dos hijos ¿vale? Mickey but your, your ideal world was everybody sterilized from the beginning and then they get the ability to have kids later on I remember that was one of the theories that you had I... I mm. like that. No, you told me that. ¿Estás seguro que, estás seguro que te dije yo eso? Yeah, you said, you said, uh, you said, in an ideal utopian world, todos, todos, nadie, ¿Todos puede, nadie puede tener hijos hasta que el gobierno te da, uh, like if you apply for it, like if you're getting a license or something, like you, yeah. like you would have to get basically the ability yo creo que put tú, back into Gordo, me está, you're overselling me somehow, no soy tan inteligente. Mickey, we've had, well, eso. we've had like two years of content, but you, we've definitely <laughs> yeah. talked about this. You Please know, insert, I don't retain any information. Insert the also. last episode where Mickey said this. I know, right for there. Real. <laughs> You know, um, I think funding education would be just as effective. Yeah. Because I think if people knew like how to prevent pregnancies, unplanned pregnancies, because I mean, that happens literally all the time. I agree. Like, I'm sure everybody knows at least five yeah. people that got some unplanned kids. Mickey. Planned Parenthood. I agree. <laughs> Yo digo But que... if people knew how to prevent it, it would lead to them not having kids at an age where they can't take care of their Yo kids. Yo digo que having, promoting the nuclear family would be the best way to fix this. Yeah. Porque una familia bien conectada plan planean lo que van a hacer no andan desparramando hijos por todos lados yeah. well that's what I I'm agree. saying like uh -huh. I think education would sí. be the best way because eh, then eh, you know what you're getting into and you know like hey having es kids ain't cheap so I'm not gonna have like but yeah. the nuclear family six. is no longer the the pues sí porque, like, se, no porque se ha promovido más la slutting and stuff like that mm -hmm. en vez de decir hey relaja calm your titties Yeah. Eh, busca el vato que, que va a ser tu vato y me entiendes. Right, you know, but then have, what if you I change your mind question. later? Forma una familia. What I have a your... question for you guys. Okay, yeah. Since you guys are guys. Because, I mean, Debatable. women. The people said that. <laughs> well, like, let's say me, for example, I can only, uh, in a spam of one year, I can only have one kid. Because it would take me nine months to pop one out. That's true. You guys, on the other hand, one and a third. You could literally impregnate a different woman every freaking day or multiple at, in one day. Es cierto. And it does happen. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, There's movies about it. Well, I, I was listening to someone talk about how they had three siblings that were like the same age as them, like few days difference because their dad was a hoe. Dude, and, 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 and what a just, week! <laughs> and that's just my question, like for you guys. Um, do you think it's more on women <clears throat> or on men? To what? To Birth control, I guess. What do you mean? Like, who uh, should be more in charge of that? Because I feel like, for the most part, people kind of put that on women. And they're like, 
well, if you don't want to get pregnant, get on birth control. But a lot of people don't understand is that different forms of birth control react differently for different people. But sí. también tienes amoras que want to get pregnant by the guy, so she like makes a hole on no, the pero ¿me entiendes? Tiene sentido eso. Yeah. A lo mejor estaría chilo. A lo mejor that. estaría chilo que la ciencia avanzara tanto como para poder hacer que el birth control estuviera en el hombre y no en la mujer. Yeah. Actually, Wouldn't that there's make male it... birth control already. ¿Cómo, cómo, Josué? What is uh, what type of birth control is it? It's like a pill to like slow down your semen, like fertility product, like. Lo malo es que uh, ya yeah, yo creo que tuvimos suficiente eh, para saber, para entender lo que estás diciendo. Yeah. Lo malo de eso es que se me figura que tiene como no ha avanzado suficiente la ciencia. Se me figura que tiene side effects como por ejemplo se te oh, baja wow. la testosterona. Yeah, porque, yeah, it does. Porque uno de una de las cosas que hace que Formes esperma es que tienes bastante testosterona. En el Have you guys heard that? I forgot what type of birth control they're saying that does it, but that it changes. Like if a girl's on birth control, it changes the type of guy you're attracted to. What? No sabía oh. eso. Uh, yeah. Look at oh, that. Yeah, a hormone wow. imbalance and everything. Yeah, that that's that's something like. I think it was that you, a certain type of hormonal birth control causes you to be attracted to less masculine looking guys really? kind of like more wow. lanky like guys like hip hop ah boys. sabes mm. por qué porque sí cierto le baja en las mujeres les baja la otra hormona cómo se llama la hormona de la mujer estrogen estrogen ya yeah. <coughs> si les baja eso pues obviamente la mujer uh, su imbalance tiene las mujeres también producen testosterona no yeah. pero tienen su nivel de estrogen mucho más elevado si bajan el nivel de estrogen pues uh, la testosterona y su estrogen está muy parecido se empiezan a sentir como hombres más o menos pues y, y se sienten más atraídas a hombres más femeninos básicamente to balance it out piensa, genetically I mean I'm no I, bio major but <laughs> I really I really do hope that like male birth control like is developed more more options because there's tons of options for women but I don't think people understand how how it actually affects a woman's body. I say body. stop having sex. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's never going to happen, mm -hmm. but... Uh, People just don't... They're not going to do it. They're, they're not, not going to not. Yeah. They're not going to not. But Pero, the thing is... Okay, here, here's what I want to say. Um, if guys have the ability to not get women pregnant, was that going to open up the door for them to be even more of a hoe? Like, if they had, the, if they have, if they have, they, if they had the opportunity to be somewhat of a hoe before... They're going to be three times that. Three Do you think that being lady. pregnant would be sexualized? What? What? Say, say what? Again. That again. Do you think that if they couldn't get some, like, if everyone went on birth control for a good minute... Do you think that pregnant women would be sexualized? Because they're like the less, uh, the less, uh, like the more rare. Also, vasectomies are reversible. That's all I got to say. That's true. Go get snipped. Because if you, ah, es cierto eso. You know what I mean? They are. What the? And not just that, but it's more like so, sure that you can't get pregnant lo, if the guys lo único que sé, me than if you get like your tube side or something. Because you can still get pregnant with your tube side. Oh, ok, o sea que si la mujer se amarra al de este todavía puede salir embarazada. Pero el hombre, yes. el hombre no puede embarazar a una mujer si se cortó el de este. Well, it just, it makes more sense to shoot an unloaded gun than to shoot at a bulletproof vest. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. that's also, good I was like, ¿va a salir horcado el, el bebé o qué? Sorry. Sorry. Bad joke, bad joke. Ay, hiciste que se me fuera lo que iba a decir. Era más importante que esa mamá. Are we going to get to a good part of the query? <laughs> Sorry. Is there more queries? Yeah, this is a real, this is a really interesting uh, school of thought. We just went off about population control. Oh, ya, control. ya, ya sé. Um, yo creo que si empezamos a, a to mel, ¿cómo se dice? Metal. Es una palabra que no. Metal. Yeah. Metal. 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 To metal with yeah. something. Es con, con la to mess with it. Con la biología de los hombres o de las mujeres en general, uh, eso va, va a provocar un tipo de evolución que no queremos. En el, en oh, por like, ejemplo, vamos a perder la fertilidad en general eventually. Si oh, andamos haciendo. I, I know eso. what you mean. ¿Me entiendes? Porque mm. vamos a forzar la evolución donde todos son infértiles nomás. Y vamos a tener que empezar a inventar científicamente cómo agarrar un huevo del, de un esperma y un huevo y hacer in vitro, se dice, cuando es fuera. Yeah. In, uh, I think so. In vitro yeah. es afuera, no afuera de la mujer en algún de este. Like o sea a que, surrogate or a, al uh, rato, not even a surrogate. Sí, pues vamos a forzar esa evolución en la, en la humanidad donde no podemos embarazar ya el hombre a la mujer ni la mujer se puede salir embarazada. O, y vamos a tener que inventar Wait, científicamente. Wait, what are you saying that would lead to that? Uh, uh, andar meddling en, en la biología del hombre como cómo podemos hacer que el hombre se 
no produzca esperma por cierto tiempo, por ejemplo. Pero están haciendo eso para las mujeres, ¿no? Ya, ¿no? Y eso es básicamente lo que hacen Y probablemente lo, el porcentaje, estoy inventando, no, no sí, sé sí, nada de eso. Sí. Probablemente el, el porcentaje de mujeres que, ya, que están quedando estériles más en esta era ha de ser más grande que en antes. Eso es en realidad no es true. No. No. El control de control no afecta tu estériles. Like, it doesn't make you infertile, basically. Pero a lo mejor la evolución... You'd have to have some, like, other, like, other, other stuff issues. going on, yeah. Pero yeah, yeah, yeah. no sabemos cómo funciona la evolución, lo que quiero decir, si el cuerpo, si la humanidad, o si, si en general nuestra biología entiende que no queremos seguir saliendo embarazados, la evolución se encarga de eso. I don't think that's nomás? true, because if you're born, like, being fertile, mm -hmm. and you give birth to someone, you're not going to pass on some made-up gene that makes them infertile. True. Like you we don't, don't have we that. don't really know that porque no the sabe. infertility gene. I feel like it would have come up already, and like. No, no sé yo, o sea, eso puede ser mil años de ahorita. Also, how do you pass oh, on? Well, maybe in a thousand years. How do you pass on the gene of infertility when you are passing I it know, on? I know, right? It's like, you can't pues, get pregnant. Pues, uh, uh, cierto. Amazing. I mean, uh, uh, all right, yeah. to wrap it up, go watch Idiocracy. It's a Ahora good sí, movie. Alex, ponme la foto. Wait, 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 wait. El último query. Wait, 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 wait. I have one thing to uh, say. You can um, insert eggs from a woman into another one. Oh, eso ya sabía. Yeah, we already talked about oh, yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Watch our previous yeah. podcast episode. That, that's how you would pass on the infertility gene. Oh, uh, that's true. Una mujer que sea infértil, pero le meten huevo. El, el hijo de esa mujer infértil, a lo mejor tiene infertilidad ya. Dang. Amazing. But if that's her egg, then it is fertile. No, vamos But a decir the, the que the la net no es infértil. Pero ella le, pero otra mujer quiere salir embarazada ella misma, entonces la net le dona un huevo a la mujer, se lo meten. And then she has my egg, exactly. not hers. Pero no, no, no agarra los genes de ella. No, it's, oh, okay. it, ella nomás she's lo, lo crea. Genes, yeah. She's just the oven. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, you set it right. and forget it. Ahora pues, moving on. The, el, el último del Willy dice, este compa cuando se rasca, se rasca el mentón, o sea, esto es el mentón, ¿no? ¿de acuerdo? Ajá. O los huevos. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> well, does he have a butt? Well, no, no. Does he have cheeks? Does he not? Por donde caga? He doesn't poop. He doesn't. So doesn't mean he that... probably does what snakes do when they throw up. Yeah. Oh. oh. He is a reptile. Anet. Is he? ¿Qué se rasca? La barba o los tanates? Barba. That's. You would see it. You would yeah. see it. Where are yeah. his balls? He But doesn't just, have any. It's just a head with arms. Uh, uh, I like. just escuchaste Willy. La, uh, she's a bio major. She knows. Yep. It's true. She, she read a book or something. Ask a doctor. doctor. All right. Are we going into Zoomer news? Yeah, now? let's go to Zoomer news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the players are bringing some themes. That's the end of the episode right there. Let's go. Coming to you live from definitely not the other room. It's Alex. Hey plebes, what's up? My name is Hey Alex, back at it again. Um, so here we have some 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 topics. Um, so super straight. <laughs> What? Super straight? <laughs> okay, Can you? So, so I guess super straight is a very serious thing. It is uh, being... So being super straight means that you are only attracted to the opposite default gender and they were born... <laughs> and they were born... Like, for example... They were born like what they are. So, for example, I'm a guy and I only like women who were born women. So, like, mm -hmm. been women since birth. Yeah. Amazing. So, apparently, this sexuality is more acceptable than most others. But in <laughs> in retaliation of this, there have been two other additions. Super gay and super lesbian. Which basically mean the same thing as being super straight, but to their terms. So, yeah. Um, I'd like to now identify as super straight. <laughs> Cool. So is it basically just like I wouldn't date someone who's transgender? Yeah. Uh huh. Cool. So it's like it's, it's the excuse <laughs> for transphobia. Yeah. Uh, eso es lo que le están llamando en internet the excuse or, for transphobia. Or is it or is it cool. that you are attracted to very feminine women versus no? Uh, sí, uh, no. Literalmente. It's basically just asking you like, would you date someone who's transgender? Like uh, it, they used to be a guy, but now they're respuesta. a girl. And you say you like girls, so why wouldn't you date them if they're a girl now? But well, you, doesn't saying I'm super straight sound super homophobic? Uh, <laughs> right, but I'm super straight, so like you can't judge me. Cool. Um, pero, right, so, well, we're so, judging you is what gordo, we're doing. Gordo, y se me hace bien curada que digas tú, doesn't it sound super homophobic? Uh, la mayoría de la gente que está ofendida por esto son gente que no pertenecen a la comunidad de trans... The, uh, the trans, trans community. The, the trans community, no? Yeah. Por ejemplo, Blair White, my favorite trans. ¿La conoces, Anet? No. I, I like Blair White. Yeah, she's good. She's cool. Um, no idea. 
Blair White es my favorite trans Ella ya está defendiendo this movement Porque dice, es que la cagaron Ustedes, dice los trans, porque No, no, se, no se frenaron en el punto Donde dijeron, hey, accept my My, my preferences O sea, los trans, ¿no? Es de, estaban diciendo, acepta mi, mi sexualidad Por favor, y déjame en paz, ¿no? Ok, no se quedaron tranquilos ahí porque Suponiendo que, suponiendo Que el mundo ya acepta la sexualidad de los trans, ¿no? Ahora se quisieron cruzar la línea diciendo If you don't date a trans woman Then you are transphobic ¿Me entiendes? Oh, that's a small percentage of people though That are thinking that Would you that date a trans it, yeah. woman? Lo creo, lo creo Would you Pero, guys date a trans woman? I would, personally, I would not no. yo, yo tampoco que I'm super straight Pero el caso I, es que, I, gordo I el, would, el caso es que El poquito porcentaje de gente que sí está diciendo eso That yeah. if you don't date a trans woman That you're transphobic Son los que no son trans uh, Del community, ¿no? Okay. Ese, es el, ese es el pedo Entonces Someone else came up with this meme Porque es un puro juego um, Y ahora Pues está, se, está rela, se está haciendo un relajo en el internet Cool story Que por cierto la bandera del super ¿Qué? Straight is, Super straight flag is based on the colors of Either Grindr or Pornhub uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. So it's that kind of uh, Tan orange and black cool. This is so wow. it's All right, moving on yeah. right. So, I, won't, I, won't say, I won't say anything and, In gonna... other news, canceling people is still a thing Why? My question is why do, why do we have to cancel some people To accept others? Like, What if we wanted to cancel being gay Because we wanted to accept being pansexual? I don't like, know, why like, are you asking us? I don't know Like, they're not, what, what was the question? They're not even... <laughs> Keep on going. <laughs> It's whack. The question wasn't supposed to make sense at all. So, okay. So, our two victims for today are Eminem and a well-known Chilean YouTuber by the name of Germán Garmendia. Uh, so, Bless um, you. <laughs> here's what we got for Eminem. So, many people are still unclear about what he did wrong, but the main thing was that TikTok users found some lyrics of a song that was published years ago disturbing. <laughs> so, Eminem disturbing? <laughs> so, 11 years ago, uh, this song became a 2010s hit. The song was... Um, Love the way you lie. <laughs> so, uh, this is this is one of my favorite years for music, and you, you just had to go out and ruin it, Zoomers. Like I'm I'm kind of well I'm between millennials and Zoomers, but like I'm one of you guys. Don't do this to me. Don't put this bad name on me, bruh. No, we're putting it on you. <laughs> okay, so It's the lyrics you. were: If she king tries to leave again, I'm gonna tie her to the bed and uh, uh, light the house on fire. Something around those, that, that stuff. Yeah, it's about right. You sound just like Eminem. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So it wasn't until the snowflakes of today that said something <laughs> that this whole thing started. So rappers are well known for their offensive and vulgar, lyric, ver, bleh, vulgar lyrics. So I guarantee that this person listens to a rapper that has said something or the same, uh, of the same or even higher caliber than what Eminem said. So... Definitely, um, it, it's not one of the worst things that has been said by a rapper. And even though it's pretty bad, this thing happened 11 years ago. Well, also, it's like those rape allegations that happened 20 years ago. Well, end. also like with with Cardi B, people were like, "Oh my God, WAP is so gross and vulgar." Yeah. When every damn rap song is gross and vulgar. Pero right. si diciendo eso. Yeah. Yeah. People were yeah, like yeah, hating yeah. on her. In com in contrast, for that. like uh, Ludacris is, "I want to lick you from your head to your toes." No, like there's just uh, like, there's no, a lot no, of no, no. Well, there's a that's, lot of that's tame compared to no we're talking pussy. about okay but <laughs> it's it's in the same caliber though of things that are just explicitly sexual well, they're comparing like it, it to most rap songs are explicit yeah. like that yeah like, remember so, we talked about this how the wap and then it's baby it's cold outside <laughs> it's just whack bro yeah i don't know yeah. just get over it don't Here, listen to it there's like a little it. rap but alex antes de que pongas este déjame mis pensamientos okay Uh, el, oh, then I get to do it too. Sí, tú también. Right. Um, el, el Eminem lo han estado tratando de cancelar desde hace un friego de años, ¿ok? Eso no es yeah. algo nuevo. Número uno. Número dos. La mayoría del escándalo en el internet uh, está desparramado por los que están defendiendo al Eminem. Porque en realidad no hay mucho retaliation. They, no, give, him, they give it like credit by acknowledging it and stuff. No, no, no. Por ejemplo, la gente, hay gente defendiendo, you're trying to cancel Eminem? What the frick? Así como todos ofendidos, ¿no? Yeah. Right. Pero en realidad... Eh, nomás hay un meme que se hizo viral criticando esa canción. Ni mm. siquiera hay un movement trying to cancel Eminem oh, okay. en realidad. Lo que pasa es que hay un movement defendiendo Eminem because of this one TikTok. I, okay. Y escuchando este, <laughs> escuchando este video que nos va a enseñar el Alex ahorita, 
Uh, la neta que me da tanta vergüenza de este, de este video que, quis, que hasta yo quisiera Is this cancelar still about the M&M thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You hasta yo quisiera cancelar el M&M. I do, but uh, if, it's still, if it's still about the same thing, then Dale, I'll, Alex, I'll, I'll say after. Let me pause it. Go. <laughs> What the? Stay yeah. here. You press the play button. What? Ah, I saw this. Gen Z's <laughs> trying to what? I saw this. Después no, de este video... Hasta yo, hasta yo so quiero cancelar. Right. Honey, that's cute. Listen, little kitties, let me make this quite clear. This man was around even before you were here. So what, you're all mad because the man was a lyricist while all your rappers are a mumbling gibberish? No, go ahead and shut your mouth. Better yet, go and sit your ass in time out because boy was running laps even before you could walk. Hell, boy was spitting balls even before you could talk. So no, afraid you're null in, boy, dear. I'm afraid your opinion don't matter here because one day you'll grow up and see how everyone went and forgot about Z. You know what, actually, can I, can I just say, have you guys seen, not this video exactly, but videos with this, like, same theme of, like, millenn no, 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 okay. millennials Versus trying to, like, clap back at Gen Z. So, like so cringe. The, 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 like, with the side part or with, like, the skinny jeans. Skinny I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. Eso side part, no lo entiendo, pero lo del... Uh, millennials used to aggressively part their hair to the side. Oh, yeah. okay. And, like, not just, like, right here. Like, I mean, like, right here, like that. Think of Susie. Remember Susie used yeah. to wear her hair, like, all on one side like Okay, that? okay. No, 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 It's very... Yeah, well, right. so, yeah. anyways, people went too far with that. And I agree. A lot of times it did look terrible. Mm -hmm. But just because your hair is parted to the side doesn't mean it looks super ugly because a lot it's now very popular to part your hair in the middle. Mm. So Millennials like are the, getting bullied by Gen Z. Dumb, yeah, basically. Hilarious. And dumb, then for wearing skinny jeans too. Dumb women stuff, la neta. Yeah. I think Excuse that's just dumb me? stuff. On International Women's Month? A huevo? También era, hey, hey, I fi I'm fighting for equality here. I All think right. it's dumb <laughs> that people it's just get offended things. for it. Like, if you like to part your hair to the side, then part it. Yeah. Don't so, worry about it. One of, one, of the, it one of the captions on this thing was uh, that millennials are now turning into boomers. So yeah, we are the new boomers. It's, it's it's now the millennials' time to start like crashing the Zoomers party and be like, Shh, back in my day, you know. Mm -hmm. We we did. Okay, okay. Um, so you you guys are getting. You're, we're you're we're there. already on to the next thing, but I want to go back because go yeah, back I think it's then. a go back to the about Eminem. <clears throat> uh, I just think it's hilariously dumb. The well, first off, the clapback rap was ugh. terrible. The, the, <laughs> even the same words with a different delivery would have been better. But um, the the thing is that especially that song that they're that they're referencing, I, one the, the way I see it, and I think the way most people agree, it's 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 art, right? Because it's it's supposed to be kind of shocking and in your face, and like you're very upset by the words that are being sold because they're upsetting. Like this is a very gross situation, a very abusive relationship. So like that in itself is why it's so vulgar. I mean, yes, Eminem since then has been trying to be very aggressive about his i mean all of his raps are pretty aggressive but yeah. that's part of the part of the appeal is that you know he kind of makes you forces you to think and feel something versus just any you know talking about fancy cars and money so i think that it was completely grossly uh taken out of proportion to 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 try to cancel eminem for something like this when it's basically shock art You know. Also, pero de todos que no te olvides que te dije que no hay people trying to cancel him. Es un viral oh, TikToker. Okay. That and maybe a few, a few Gen Z kids que back there up así en su, en su mismo video. Pero the retaliation es lo, lo que se hizo más right. escandaloso. Yeah. La, Nadie, la defensa de, okay. de como alguien tiró una... Alguien tiró una flecha y luego regresaron muchos reflejos para acá. Okay, well, I hope that's true. I, ho I hope it's not a very big thing. Now, I mean, I think another reason why we do defend Eminem a lot is because of his lyrical prowess. Like, he's very yeah. good rapper. And he, he's able ¿Tiene, to... ¿Se hizo pesado? Es, es, like, al, alcanzó fama, se hizo pesado. Es un yeah. gringo blanco que alcanzó a rapear perrón. We Como, stand Eminem It's unexpected here. for a white person to be so no big peanuts, in, the, in the hip hop game. But also, pero al mismo tiempo, yo no... Um, Qué bueno, que, qué bueno que lo están atacando un poco por Joto también, porque dijo If you voted for Trump, don't even buy or listen to my music. No seas mamón tampoco. No seas mamón. 
Mickey, if you want to buy the Listen, album, go let ahead. Him let him think what he wants. But uh, no seas mamá. Ya, ya, este, ya sé que piensa lo que Mickey's quiere. Mickey's upset because he will need to buy his new album. Pero yo he digo, he's about to buy it. He's like, oh, but I like Trump. Dang pero, it. Pero I digo, know. O sea, Mickey. You can buy it, Mickey, if you <laughs> want. Se merece, se merece un poco de para que se le quite. Su propia gente lo está atacando yeah. ahora. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't matter. It, it's not. It's no money out of his wallet. So, you know what? Yeah. It is what it is. That's dumb. Yeah. It, it, that's that's funny that you brought that up, but also going over to now that we're talking about Gen, Gen Z versus. <laughs> All right. So next ne next topic. So the second the second one, uh, Herman. So this guy rose to fame with his channel. Hola, soy Herman. Uh, I spent all of my middle school watching all, all of my middle school time watching this guy, uh, mm -hmm. along with some other Hispanic and Latin because I went to middle school in uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexico for a bit. Um, so he slowly began to fade with his change of content, and now I watch his stuff. But it, like his new channel, Juega Germán, is like it's more childish. Uh, he up he uploads pretty often if you want to check him out, but he no longer uploads the same content that I used to watch that I really like. So people are trying to cancel him. I don't know why this like one parent uploaded a video talking is like, oh, his content is violent and you shouldn't be letting your kids watch this. So he's trying to defend himself. He's a pretty innocent guy, but I mean, people just try to cancel people for the dumbest things now. Uh, so there's not really much to get there. Uh, so. I brought you guys a philosophical question, sort uh, of. Like oh, so, wait, 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 just a, I'm fighting for my life out here. <laughs> R. Kelly. So, are you a hero <laughs> or a villain? But here's the thing. A villain would sacrifice the bunch for one person, and a hero would sacrifice one person for the bunch, right? Uh-huh. Ah, yes, I've seen So, this. we're all heroes because we all got iPhones. Huh? We all got iPhones. Oh, right. What? Oh, that's right. I have an iPhone, so I'm not the killer. Yeah. Right, we're saving the environment. Did there. you guys? How do you like that? Have you guys talked about Hablamos it? I heard you mention it oh, a yeah, little yeah. bit, but did you actually get into depth about it? Yeah. So piste eso, verdad? Es que yo creo que ya sabíamos todos por eso. Yeah. So we're all heroes. Pero, pero sí, en veces deberíamos de entrar un poquito más profundo en esas cosas porque estamos asumiendo que porque tú ya sabes, ya todos los que nos están escuchando saben también. Not a hero would save me. Well, no, lo del iPhone. I'm not gonna stand here and wait. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, okay. fake fan. Huh? No, no, he tiene problemas mentales, us. la neta. Yeah. <laughs> no, fool. I just wanted to it's really a make a back song. Anyways. I hate that. All right, so let's go back. So it says, are you a hero <laughs> if uh, what was it? If uh, a villain would sacrifice the bunch for one person, and the hero would sacrifice one person for the bunch. I so. think everyone has the capability of being both. It just depends who that one person I was is. I'm gonna say both. Mm. So you and Bijalante. So if, hail Hitler. Huh? What? Uh huh? Uh, okay, so that came out say, of nowhere. I mean, he's dead. Okay. So what are you gonna hail? He did. That's it for Zoom news. Oh wait, wait, wait. That's not. That's it for my Zoom news. But oh, we, got no, some, no. we got some. We more. don't got time for that guy. Wait, we didn't say like, hey, is this right? Is this wrong? Ardi, lo que piensas, Jorge? Do you think you're a hero? No, I don't think. Are I, you a villain? Are you a villain then? No, I. We're not, those are extremes, you know? I'd those say are... LG's a villain because I know how much he advocates for androids. So it's the villain uh, right there. Oh, it's the villain. That's true. <laughs> oh, also, you if you're listening to this and you don't know what we mean by iPhone stuff, Apple doesn't let people in like movies this use iPhones if it's the like bad person. If in the you're movie. the antagonist yeah, in any much. story. And it, it's written in their contract cuando van a usar iPhone en películas o en shows. It's written that uh, if he's gonna be the villain, he can't have an iPhone. You know, I've and always wondered Apple. that because uh, I don't know if you guys watch shows, and sometimes it's very obvious, like, oh, they they're like collabing with Google or with Microsoft because mm -hmm. you, you see them using the phone a lot, mm -hmm. and most ads are very obvious in movies and shows because they're like oh yeah check out my new car like on my surface microsoft surface tablet Product placement. pretty much yeah so you can always tell i love that and i always wondered that i'm like how do they choose like who gets an iphone and who doesn't and that that just makes well it's sense it's me. more expensive to like apple's expensive to have in your in your show or movie like if they if it's explicitly an apple product yeah like it's expensive that's why you get all of these unrealistic the pair uh, pod well, teens also, that have like these really janky whatever phones well i've also not. seen like i don't know if you guys have noticed but in some movies and shows they have an iphone but they have like a sticker covering the apple yeah, yeah. so yeah. that because they, they probably don't have like the yeah. right to use it oh and the one thing i was going to say about that is because i have apple tv plus shout out to apple tv plus um shout out haven't found something to every watch on person in that show has an iphone but it's like very like obvious so I they're, love all that. they're all I, iPhone I need users. to start watching something on there then yeah it, 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 oh, i was watching ted lasso and i was it was so obvious to me i'm like 
Oh, he actually has like the iPhone 11, which is interesting. Like you never see that in movies. Mm. Yeah. I was surprised by that. Gordo, hay un nuevo show. Bueno, antes que se me olvide. Anet, ¿quién interrumpe más, el gordo o yo? Mm, you. Arre pues. I think you're going to interrupt her. That's so weird. Perfect. Okay. Well, that's what you're going to say. No lo planeo, no lo planeo bien, no lo planeo bien. No lo planeo Nikki, bien. Nikki, wipe that tear off your face. She's like, it's like, who do you think? Who do you think? She's like, uh, soy yo. Okay. <laughs> bueno, I, I, me topé un show, no sé si ya lo conocen en Netflix. Hay un como tipo Black Mirrors, pero se llama... Uh, love, Death, and Robots, algo así. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. I saved it. I watched the first couple. That sounds familiar, couple. but I've never seen it. Está curada. Yo, yo, no, yo no sabía nada de ese show, no sabía que existía. Son short films, pero me, la razón por la que me topé es porque había un, en el, un TikTok donde un wolf soldier, como un shapeshifter, miré un mini clip y luego me fui a ver el episodio porque vi que donde estaba. Because they're short too, right? Short films y todo. Like very episode. short, they're es, like six minutes. Yeah, Black Mirror type of episodes pero más cortitos that's interesting alright let's wrap this up let's well, wait, 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 wait. And I just want to know oh, is that? there a season 2 for that Cause no sé no doesn't... conozco mucho a ver pero no el, el, el Josué también tiene más de estos ok alright más zoomers alright so you guys know the skunk from Looney Tunes that would always like chase that one cat mm -hmm. that Pepe looked like a skunk Pepe Le Pew. Well, that is deemed as problematic behavior, and oh, because of that, that yeah. Twitter canceled him and yeah. got him cut from the new Space Jam. Yeah, I good. He's that. not a main character anyway. Good, Somebody he stinks. No, well, the real issue is why are they covering Lola Bunny? <laughs> oh, I'm upset <laughs> about Lola okay, Bunny. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm more upset about Lola Bunny. <laughs> wait, 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 The, the problematic is because the first Space Jam, Pull up. Um, they have her like with the little crop top and showing more of her, of her waist and everything on her belly. Now with, with the new one, she has like a, a baggy like clothes really? pretty much. No tiene nada. She, yeah. she's in That's the shot yeah. you're going to choose? Yeah. So well, that's part of the movie. I mean, it's just a bunny. I don't yeah. know why everyone's so upset. So, uh, see, when we were in Morritos, it was not so just a bunny. It was not just a bunny. Yeah. <laughs> you know it what? Was, it was many I'm men's. Just, I'm going to take the liberty here to cancel all men. <laughs> oh, men. <laughs> Lola, Lola, bunny, Lola <laughs> bunny was many <laughs> men's first boner right there. Let me, no. tell, yeah. let me put uh, that out uh, right um, now. Um, you guys no, are disgusting. I like how you said it was more than just a bunny. That was the thing. <laughs> And that's how I know y'all furries. Es cierto. Look, when you're a kid, you don't understand what... What's Gordo. happening? You're just, you're just, uh, you're just, uh, your eyes are getting filled, and you don't under, you don't know why or how. But the music plays, the 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 nuances yeah. are there, and all of a sudden you have a crush hey, on a cartoon. Hey, plebes are canceled. I'm gonna go on Twitter and start making. It's fine. They cancel us for the 30th time already. Okay, okay. Shout next, out one time. next thing. Um, no, antes de moverme, no, let's just appreciate that. It's been well, 25 it's years. Topic. It's been 25 years since the first Space Jam. Gordo. How crazy is that? Mi punto es aquí, Gordo. Están discriminando. Bro, están discriminando. Let one thing simmer for a second. Están discriminando por quitar. Por si sí, estamos hablando lo mismo, no sé, mamón. He is still talking It's about. Fine. That was it. That's all. Ya dijo lo que iba a decir. I wanted to acknowledge it. Wow. Tienen. Nikki, uh, tú gordo. estás procesando muy rápido. Están discriminando a los furries. Es mi, es mi pedo aquí. I was right then. Mickey does interrupt the most. Eh. Okay. <laughs> Están, no, es que yo escuché lo que dijo, es que entendí que ya había terminado y, y seguí con lo demás, no mames. But it's, it was, it was, he opened it up for that all of us can react to it. No, I'm just saying, think about it, it's tw been 25 years. He said, think about it. Let that process and that's it. Everybody processes differently Anyways, than others. Te tardó mucho el cerebro para procesar eso, que pedo. No, all, all I'm right. saying is that you're... 25 años, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. To wrap it up. I'm surprised me. To wrap yeah. this up. <laughs> Porque se están enojando because of the damn bunny, okay? You guys are. <laughs> okay, okay, right, go on, you guys are. All right, go on, all right. I'm uh, pissed. To wrap it up, she's still hot. Okay, she could get it. All right, move on. <laughs> We're not wrapping it up. There's more to it. Okay, to this is this? the last okay. thing. All right. Wow. Speedy Gonzalez is getting canceled for Mexican not much appropriation. For what? You all on one at a time. Culture please. appropriation. Yeah, culture appropriation. Cool. And cool. a lot of Mexicans are defending him However. for it because I. I mean, I, as a kid, he was like the icon for me as like one of the only Mexican cartoons that I knew of Same. at the People time. People are so dumb yeah. for getting all upset hey, Toka, over you things kinda, that happened a yeah. long time ago like this. Yeah. Hey, Toka, you kind of look like Speedy Gonzalez's friend. Uh, I have a uh, question. I have a question. Um, is 
is the artist being canceled or the character being canceled? Or- okay, so we're we're in a culture where anything could get canceled. The Rock could get canceled, bro. It it's the drawing that got canceled. People are dumb for okay, that. I'm, I'm just curious care. because if the Looney Tunes character Speedy Gonzalez is considered to be Mexican sí. in the world of Mexico, a cartoon Mexico, of course, sí. mm-hmm. then what's wrong with that? Lo que, what's, wor- what's wrong with anything in reality yeah. con lo que están cancelando la neta? All right, I'm just curious. Just curious. Pero, watch out. Mi pedo es este. No, la gente no se está dando cuenta que white people are canceling anything that is not white. What the? Esa es mi conspiración. <laughs> like the land of lakes, uh, the native girl, sí, and also they took, they Aunt took, Jemima. They, ¿cómo se dice? They took the the Indian away, but kept oh, the land. Oh, they Eso. did take, yeah. <laughs> take her away. Land of lakes. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Pero wecha gordo están cancelando todo. Eh, all people of color y, y otras culturas las están cancelando y están dejando todo lo blanco. What the? No se están I dando did, cuenta de eso. I just think it's dumb that people get so offended over this because, like. If I'm sure if people watched it back in that day when it came out, like it was funny. Estaba bien chilo, es and it wasn't, yeah. I doubt maybe a minority of people took it in a bad way. But overall, I feel like you would have enjoyed it because like a lot of even Disney movies and stuff, older ones, they have yeah. like, yeah, sure, racist undertones or whatever. Yeah, they have dark corners. Yeah, yeah. but people just get too upset over that. Like, just get over yeah. it. It's not like they're releasing that stuff today. I yeah. think the 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 approach that Disney had was pretty good because like when they put up a thing that's old, they'll say like, uh, "This was created mm. in this time, so there is some material here that is that's we smart. do not yeah. we do not deem correct, but we're still gonna show it." To However, you guys. I'm a little bit upset because if it didn't matter and they could put that, then bring out take out a song of the South. There's no problematic if they could just put that post. Because honestly, they, that was before a different time. You yeah, know, I have a so. question. What is something you guys enjoy, like a show or a movie, that came out a long time ago, like one of these cartoons or something, that would be instantly canceled if it came out today? Nacho Libre would not exist. Es cierto. That's Nacho true. Libre sería una de esas. And, we and love I love it. that movie. Por más, yeah. que digan, por más que digan que it's not cultural appropriation, porque esto y el otro y cualquier excusa, eh, ahorita en este tiempo lo cancelarían al instante. La yeah. Yeah. If anybody that says that and they disagree, uh, you're, you're only going to be like, but it's Jack Black. Be like, yeah. no. Es la única excusa que pueden tirar la neta. Honestly. Like, I, oh, yeah. it, Let, just not, it just wouldn't happen today. Pero dame, déjame ponerme serio y darte información que tengo lista aquí. Uh, Are we Alex, wrapping this up, though? Mete las notas. No, es de lo mismo. Déjalo ahí todavía. Okay. Let me play the song, Leon. Oh, uh, Alex, uh, <laughs> mira. Pícale. Okay. I'm to the beat. Es lo de mismo de Space Jams. Eh, Speedy González. No. Vete, al, vete al primer... Vete al primer link que puse ahí de la, la... ¿Cómo se llama? Response del y Gabriel Iglesias. Gabriel Iglesias es la voz del Spirit González en esta película. And he's not in it? No, sí. They got can- no, no, got- no, no, no. Oh. El, el, tui- el Twitter quiere cancelarlo, pero no están haciendo mucho, ¿no? Okay. Yo creo que el Spirit González hasta ahorita, as far as I know, todavía va a estar en la película. Pero mira, dice, lee lo que dice el tweet de él. Ok. Uh, Gabriel Iglesias. I am the voice of Spirit González in the new Space Jam. Does this mean they are going to try to cancel Fluffy too? You can't catch me, cancel culture. Oh, you can't catch me, cancel culture. I'm the fastest mouse in all of Mexico. Amazing. Nice. Uh, well, arriba, no? arriba, andale. Well, well, the link. thing is that they're not going to cancel Fluffy. They'll cancel the character. That's it. Yeah, it's, I know, but... Me caga que los gringos son los que están aguitados y nosotros yeah. los mexicanos nos encanta este character. What I mean, to be wait, fair, wait. Gabriel Iglesias is collecting a check, too. So sí, he pero has es more mexicano. incentive. Pero independientemente de eso, es, es un, la voz es de un mexicano de perdida. No sean yeah. mamones. No, no, it's true. Wait, wait. Le están dando me... trabajo a un mexicano. Yeah. I'm on your side, check. but I, I, yeah. I, 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 sí. yeah, I still see I like it, it, it as... I like it. Is there a logo that Speedy Gonzalez is in Mexico? Oh, what do you mean? I don't know, isn't there something with Speedy Gonzalez as a logo? Isn't it like in Oaxaca or Guadalajara or something? I don't know. I don't o sea know que what you're about. Like, where is he set? Speedy. Where is Speedy Gonzalez from? Creo, no estoy seguro. Like, you I know how they have Woody Woodpecker as, as, as like, uh, uh, what's it called? For like hot rods and stuff, they always have Woody Woodpecker. Uh, oh, chi- uh, you're wondering if Speedy Gonzalez is yeah, uh, branded? Yeah, chili is like ice now and then... Is there something in Mexico that there's a logo that Speedy Gonzalez has? Like if it's part of the part of the official logo of a company? Yeah. I don't know. Like Donald Duck is on an orange juice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, is that something that... I don't yeah. know. O sea, están tratando de definir la nacionalidad um, de, uh, ¿cómo se dice? De, de Speedy Gonzalez, de donde, que ciudades según. 
Hypothetically. I guess. Oh, so where is he from? Where is he Just from? Just Mexico. Bueno, es mexicano y siempre, y siempre en la caricatura. Mi punto es, túmbense ese moco, gringo. No sean mamones. Están tratando de quitar nuestra representación de los mexicanos de los shows de televisión. No sean mamones. ¿Ok? So, you know how you'll show a Mickey? Get a tattoo. Although there were some really racist Chinese uh, cats in Aristocats. Mm -hmm. Like, very, like, on the nose. And, you know, I, I can understand why they would say the thing, the thing, same thing about Speedo Gonzalez. Like, sure, I, I wasn't personally affected by either of these, but... Como, I can understand why people be upset. Además, porque es un gringo que escribió la caricatura y, y las frases que dice como arriba, 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 son cosas que. But they were voiced by a white person. Can sí, y, y eso no me importa a mí la neta. Eso me da lo de menos. Like Cleveland. Pero oye, right, vete, a, vete a las notas otra vez porque quiero que veas este es más importante todavía, gordo. Okay. La okay. cancelación del Pepe Le Pew porque we glossed over it nada más. La razón por la que cancelaron este Alex trata de ir hasta abajo donde está la foto, la, el, ¿cómo se llama el nombre de la, de la actora que estuvo con él ahí? Pero being kind of rapey su nombre. Or... I saw the Grace, I didn't Gracie to Santo. It, but... Busca la foto de ella y ahí abajo vamos a leer ahorita. Espérate, no, no te distraigas, gordo. No. Porque, mira, el punto es que eh, esta, esta la cancelaron porque la escena, en la escena, pues el Pepe Le Pew siempre ha sido bien kind of rapey and stuff, ¿no? Es lo que... El, Just a little creepy, yeah. Sí, así como siempre agarra... Creeper bien, vibes. Bien, bien encimoso, ¿no? Trying to be all lovey. Sí, y, y eso en este tiempo no, es inaceptable, obviamente. Pero lo cancelaron y lo quitaron del este. Pero el pedo fue que al cancelarlo y quitarlo, le quitaron el trabajo a una mujer que iba a estar, ser parte de la escena. Y, y, y ella tiene su contestación ahí, upon learning. Léelo, gordo. Ok. Upon learning that her scene with Pepe was cut, Santa was upset. That's Santa's the, the, the lady. Uh -huh. uh, was upset, according to her spokesperson. The actress singer has been a victim of sexual harassment and has spoken out against it. Even recording a debut single, Voce, Voce. I'm assuming that's how you say it. Voce. Voce, Voce, Voce uh, back in February 2018 with multi Grammy winning producer, producer Umberto Gatica to empower women to stand up to sexual predators and sexual harassment. Santo even has a non-profit glam with, with Gre Grace? Gracie? I can't say her name. Gracie. 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 Whatever. Sorry. Uh, which aims to empower victims of domestic violence to change their lives for the better. Santo took joy in shooting the Space Jam sequel with scene, scene with Pepe because the skunk finally gets his come up and oh okay so they kind of address it we'll see and that's true i think it would have been better that would have been better to have him on to kind of da, dale un poquito más bajo porque si, sigue su statement un poco mira um, el segun, ese último spokes, fue. the last one or just the next no, one me, sigue a, spokesperson, a spokesperson for santo tells deadline today this was such a big deal for Gre gracie to be in this movie even though pepe is a cartoon character if anyone was going to slap a sexual harasser like him Gracie wished it would be her. Now the scene is cut and she doesn't have the power to influence the world through younger generations who will be watching Space Jam 2 to let younger girls and younger boys know that Pepe's behavior is unacceptable. Y mi punto es este. I agree. Yo también. Yes. Mi punto es este. Big time. That's Gordo. Uh... Yeah. Mi punto es este. Cortar sexual harassment from movies or shows no lo va a eliminar en el mundo real. This is better though. Addressing it Addressing is way it better. Addressing it is better. Eso es lo que digo yo. O sea, no nomás porque no pongan escenas de alguien sexually harassing y alguien diciendo, hey, don't do that. Quitándolas del show no va a resolver el problema real en el mundo. I will say this, though. Inherently, for, as soon as I heard about this, that they cut Pepe Le Pew, my initial thought is good. Because I did think he was a sexual har harasser. Mm -hmm. The whole time I was like, he's just too much. Y, y es lo que te digo, cutting sexual harassers from shows or TV yeah. movies will not cut him from the real world. It's not resolving the issue. It's, it's just... Pushing the problematic, hiding it. Hiding it. it But yeah. we didn't like the thing is that I wouldn't have expected Warner Bros. to try to make a narrative, like to actually address it, as opposed to just have them in. I think if the scene was her like confronting him and like putting yeah. him in his place, it would have been a good scene. Uh huh. Yeah. This is. Yeah, this is very, it's too reactionary because yeah, all they did was saying, "Oh, people are upset about this. We're just gonna cut it." Yeah. Instead of talking about the problems in the world, no más los they had him. Had him this is also world. this is all another problem I have with Warner Brothers is that they they kind of are too scared to to put out like or to let the to let the director or the creatives like put it out. They're they're way too concerned with what's going to make the money, and in turn means that they're going to cut things just to be more appropriate. Talk about virtual signalers, man. 
Yeah, I guess. Porque I mean, lo hicieron porque la reacción yeah. del mundo. So they. Lo eliminaron nomás. Like, all they had to do was, like, talk to them and be like, hey, why do you have Paper Le Pew in this? Like, people are upset about it. And then they, they would have explained to the directives at, at Warner Brothers and they'd be like, okay, I can get behind that. Yeah, we have a scene prepared where we're going to show that that's wrong. That's a wrong. Exactly. That would have been. <sighs> that's just yeah. dumb that they they cut stuff out like that to avoid being, like, controversial yeah. or canceled. That would have been actually. <laughs> yeah. That happens a lot. It too. does. It really does. Well, here's uh, here's to you, fans. If you want to see this, ask for the Snyder Cut. Make it happen, okay? <laughs> right. We're going to watch it. And yeah. it's, dude, I promise you, it's not going to be that much. Better. Also, first of all, nobody's going to like this movie because we all love the original. So, you know, it's going to, whatever. We're making a big deal. It might not even be that good. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm like this. From the get-go, I was like, LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> I yeah, you. I mean, yeah, he's he's the, he's a goat, but still, it's uh, debatable. It, it's just like why, why, why do you have to make? This? All right, it's Le, a paycheck. We, is there anything else? Ya terminaron ustedes, Alexi. Well, uh, Annette stole my Burger King segment, so <laughs> that is it for Zoomer news. Nice, nice. So slide that into your DMs and twitch it. <laughs> All right, nice. We did it. No, well, hold on. Before we we're talking about Pepe Le Pew. Same thing with Billy Holiday. Uh, like I said, Billy Holiday. They just made a new movie through Hulu that it's called America, United States versus Billy Holiday. On this scene, it's regards to a song that she made called uh, um, "Oh My God, I Forgot the Name." Um, oh my God, I forgot the it's name. It's a song. It's a song it, that it talks about lynching, like lynch mob, and pretty much uh, they were upset that she was reminding people that the, this thing still exists. Yeah. So they were trying to arrest her and like. Sure, she did drugs and everything, so they were trying to use different ways to arrest her to stop singing that song. But she kept on going, so shout out one time. Was it Strange Fruit? Strange Fruit, yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah. And then, so, it's such a great movie. I don't recommend watching it with your parents because there's a lot of... Wow. Uh, <laughs> things, explicit material. Explicit material. So, but it's it's a good movie. And uh, shout out one time to Billie Holiday, My Lady Day. You know what? Watch it with your family. Yeah, go ahead. Let, expose them. Go Shock ahead and watch therapy. it with your family. I'll do it. No, you I won't. And it, yeah. <laughs> Ya llevamos dos horas grabando. Lástima, porque tenía un punto... Y, bueno, algunos puntos que quería hablar contigo. Yeah, yeah, let's, Pero let's te los voy a mencionar, no es para picarte la cresta. Let's, right, let's, let's one more hour. Let's no go. uterus, no say. ¿Qué uh, piensas de eso? Let's keep... Let's not do it. La let's, al, yo la neta vamos a platicar de esto. I'll keep it brief for now. Mm. No uterus, no say. I think that's kind of dumb to an extent. Let's say... Uh, if, are you referring to like abortion kind of stuff? Well, see, yeah, yeah, specifically, I think. Well, let's say, like, if I got pregnant and then you guys are trying to tell me what to do and you guys are not the father, mm -hmm. I would just be like, what the heck? Like, I would hear you guys out if you guys are like, hey, get an abortion, don't get an abortion. I'd hear you guys out as my friends, mm -hmm. but I do believe that it's not your child, it's not your right. Yeah, step, I agree. step out of my uterus. I wouldn't even jump in. I think if it's like, to even say anything, the baby's father is like telling me something it's also his kid so i guess by default he has he a did say. something yeah but <laughs> i would hope that at the end of the day it would be my choice in realidad sí es tu es tu realidad yo estoy 100% en contra del aborto de todo modo pero pero well personally i am pro choice i do think women should be able to choose but i i personally don't think i would have an abortion uh educarías a las personas de 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 también sabes que Uh, I'm pro-choice, pero piensa bien las cosas. Así. I think circumstances. Yeah, it really, it really does depend on bueno, the circumstance. Mi punto, vete a Alex a las notas. Me, me topé una morra que es 100% pro-choice, eh? Yeah. Bien okay. pro-choice y la he estado siguiendo por mucho tiempo porque... <laughs> like, like, got very pro, super pro-choice? Sí, o sea... Eh, like super straight? Sí, ella, con, hasta el punto de que... Super straight. Hasta el punto de que hay un TikTok de una morra que es, de, es, uh, está... Uh, tiene la prueba de embarazo así, dice. Y está así como un poquito emocional. Y dice, I know what you're talking about. Oh, dice. I get to kill another one. Dice. Yeah. O algo así. A lot of people got really upset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. O sea, no mames, no. Pero bueno, eso no es mi punto. Uh, esta morra. Uh, esta morra cambió su parecer, <laughs> gordo. La morra, esta morra. A mí me gusta tener en el TikTok todos los lados que me contradigan para todos lados, ¿no? A mí. Yeah. He likes point of views. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He likes the smoke the in any direction. <laughs> yeah, entonces. That's true. Esta morra. Recientemente, en la última semana, salió con una... Uh, ¿Cómo se le dice? Alex, you got kicked oh, out live. Ah, oh, sí, live. es que el Alex se salió de la, de la Apple TV, pero no lo dijimos. 
Se, cambió su perspectiva. Dice que she was ve being very transphobic by saying that no uterus, no say. <risa> Esa fue su excusa para decir que no, que está mal decir no uterus, no say. Que aparentemente hay mujeres que no tienen uterus que should have a say. O sea, oh, okay. hombres well, que in, hicieron mujeres. In my opinion, it's not like a women's argument thing. It's like a to each their own thing. It has nothing to do with like Yeah. Oh, you're a woman. Okay, go ahead and tell me what to do with my uh, life. No, it's like a mind your own business, stay in your own lane, regardless of like men and women. Yeah, a woman would have like more of an insight than like you guys telling me what to do. Definitely. But still, stay out of my business. It's yeah. not your kid, not your problem. Don't, yeah, don't yeah, be, yeah, yeah. don't be sticking your nose. Like unless you're willing to partake in some sort of. Are you gonna raise it? Exactly. Yeah. Also, like, don't be killing no... babies. Those moms. <laughs> pero wow. esta morra, pero This ¿qué piensas a... de eso? Ned? De todos modos, independientemente, vamos, vamos a decir que estamos los dos en la misma página con, ok, no uterus, no sé. Pero este ya se está yendo para otro rumbo todavía. Ahora. To that, I think that's dumb too. That's dumb. I like, did think that. ¿Quieres escuchar lo que dijo? This is probably going to be very dumb, but right, go dale. ahead. Dígale. So recently I've been going through some older videos of mine to debunk some of the bad arguments that I made in the past. And I came across one argument that was not only absolutely terrible, but was also hurtful. And I feel like I should be criticized for it. And I want to take this time to apologize for it. I used to throw around the term no uterus, no opinion when talking about the abortion debates, because at the time cisgender men were kind of dominating the abortion debates on TikTok. And number one, regardless of my intent, it was transphobic and completely excluded trans women from the conversation. And number two, my intent itself was also hurtful. I was being completely heteronormative and I was only thinking of uterus in terms of cisgender men and cisgender women. And now I'm thinking of the transgender woman who watched that video and saw this political TikToker basically being like, hey, you don't get to have a say in abortion. For two trans women, please know that your opinion is just as valid as cis women's. And I am so sorry for ever using that type of rhetoric and for taking this long to realize how harmful it was. This was definitely a big wake up call for me because while I'm confident in my stances now, I definitely need to do more work to make sure that I'm not being harmful or exclusive. And if I ever am, please, please call me out on it. I'm so exhausted. Did el she mundo... not cancel herself? I hate her so for that. Exhausted. Canceled for canceling el mundo herself. Es el, mundo, el mundo entero Bro, ahorita es como, son como pirañas se comen entre ellos. She can't even have a conversation. Like, I feel like she can't do anything without feeling guilty about it. <laughs> I am so... <sighs> I just think it's dumb that people go out of their way dumb. to get offended. I knew it was going to be dumb. You go out of your way to get offended over okay. anything. Look, okay, this this is the thing though. I know I know a few people that are like this, that think like this, that are very overly Me too. Apologetic. I avoid them. Bye. <laughs> the thing is that it's not healthy, man. Like you're you're constantly like anything that you say, no manches wait let <laughs> me just, just, <laughs> anything that you say or do you're 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 overly analyzing yourself to the point of, like because you're always wondering like how am i gonna get how is my words gonna be used against me let me just and put she it just this did way. she said i'll do it before you do let me just put it this way a lot of like you said a lot of people are very apologetic and they try like to walk around eggshells but around literally everything and that's impossible yeah. to do like you're gonna yeah. upset someone at some point yeah i think unless you go out of your way to be hateful like then it's it's fine like if somebody accidentally got offended that's their problem it's not like you went out of your way to go bully them cyber bully them or whatever yeah because i mean i obviously don't agree with that but if you're just saying something like hey no uterus no opinion And somebody it, goes up to you and they're like, well, I'm a woman, but I don't have a uterus. And they just get like so and it's like, I wasn't even thinking about you like that. Like, calm down. <laughs> also, It has nothing to do with you. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, okay. The, uh, the thing is, man, I don't even know where to start. No, nah, just, it's just dumb. Like, I'm it, sorry no, if you got offended. Straight, it's just straight. Uh, I, it's like, it's good intentioned, right? Like yeah. she came, she was coming from a good place because she's obviously an ally and she wants to be able to make it clear to any of her fans or followers. Does she have a lot of followers? I'm sure, I'm sure she's very big, but, uh, like to let everybody know, by the way, I still, I'm thinking about the LGBTQ plus, uh, community, but it's so like, you're bending over backwards just to say this one thing that nobody Porque was thinking vale about. <laughs> nobody was thinking about it. It's. She's what's is it virtual signaling? Yeah, cien por ciento. Is that virtual signaling if you're bashing yourself though? Yo creo que sí. In the process of being virtuous, I think it's just dumb that you bend over backwards just to kiss everybody's ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a kiss ass. 
definitely. In, in the same way with like but misgendering you, someone, because you know, how, like a lot of people like they have their pronouns in their bios and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I I think unless somebody went out of their way to misgender you, like just they didn't mean it. Like just get over it. Because mm-hmm. I get it. If I know it, people that would though. Uh, like, like for example, yo, pero like yo let's say eso. if Mickey had she, her in his bio, and. I saw him looking the way he does with more masculine features and I accidentally called him a he. If he corrects me, I'd be like, oh, okay. Like, chances From are that I, point I, on. I wouldn't misgender him after that. I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, same. Has escuchado? Okay, but sigue. like, if he got super upset and was like, I can't believe you misgendered me, this and that, that's that's where it's like dumb. Like, I'm sorry. I didn't know those were your pronouns. Yeah, I like that. Hey, Mickey. Monday. Why is your Instagram El Mickey Miguel y no La Mickey Miguel? Oh. Did you just assume his gender? I'm a transgender lesbian. You don't es know que, what EL stands for. Es que me quitaron la Mickey Miguel. Ya no lo pude agarrar. Thank you. That was a good excuse. You're welcome, world. Dang. Wow. Oh, yeah. Annette, has escuchado neo pronouns? What is that? Neo. Uh, the neo term pronouns. sounds familiar, but define it. Me lo acabo de topar en el tech. Y quiero poner my neo pronoun. Like Donald Duck. Porque hay unos, hay unos, hay unos negros en el internet que están trolling the, el internet y, y ponen en su neo pronoun, le ponen Nick slash GA y, y le dicen a las personas en el, en el Omega, por ejemplo. So, this, that's my, my neo pronouns are Nick and Ga. So, oh. if you refer to me y, y forzan a las morres, a las morritas que digan eso, pues no tienen the N-word, basically. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Pero, But neopronouns in itself isn't that. It's just that they they're are... Trolling. They're yeah, trolling. Yeah, they're trolling. Pero es que neopronoun is anything you want. Wait, have you seen that you, one? I think it was like on Omigo or something that somebody commented like, can you say, shout out your biggest fan? His name is Nick Gurr. And he's like, <laughs> oh, hi. Y and he says, shouts him out. <laughs> and then he's like... <laughs> Oh, yeah. And then he like had the re- he released like an apology video and stuff. But that's no, trickery no, 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 though. Like yeah. that's, that's so sad. Es que, lo bueno es que lo bueno es que existen trolls en el mundo todavía. I like that. Para que no haya, para que no. Es que the world wants to get pacified and I don't like that. ¿Me entiendes? Uh-huh. Pero mi, my new pronouns from now on, no, now on son nor y lo slash ma. I like, I like that. Norma. Yeah. Normal. Normal. Well, I'm gonna call him Norma, baby. <laughs> So how does that wait? How would you use it in a sentence? Uh, no, no, más por ejemplo, my pronouns are normal. Right, normal. But how would you use store. it? Porque cuando dicen no más simplemente cuando alguien te dice sus pronouns te dicen las dos que tienen, no? Right. She, her. Entonces, he, she. My, no, it'd be like he, his. Uh huh. Well, yeah. Her, her him. Hit, hit, her. <laughs> she, her. She, him, her. Him, she, her. It's the same as he, his. Moving okay. on. No, no, no. El, el gordo está tra- he's trolling. Está diciendo que los míos son she, his. O sea, los dos. No, no. Well, I'm just curious is how would you use those actual new pronouns? Oh, yeah. Mo- You're normal. Thing. So, like, Nor went to the store. He's saying, like, he went to the store. That rhyme. Simplemente, hey, uh... I don't know. Yo creo que no existe ninguna manera. Because donde... you're saying those are your pronouns, but now you're now they have to use them. Nor. So, like, you're going to say... I, I met mall today. It's mall. Yeah. <laughs> it's so you know, also, can, can so I mention broken. something with the whole like pronouns thing yes please do it's so annoying with the whole misgendering thing especially in Spanish or in other languages that have a lot of gendered like words yeah. uh huh kind of like ustedes de acuerdo con the Wemex and Latinx Latinx oh I think that's so dumb it's I think very that's, dumb that's so dumb it's very like dumb. you're gonna get a You're getting upset over the dumbest things. And, and it's white And that's what I'm saying. Like, with words like that, like, Latino, Latina, um, those words are gendered. So, like, I would say, oh, él es Latino, ella es Latina. And for you to get, like, super bent over, like, pissed because somebody's misgendering you when the words are gendered, that's so dumb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of gender-neutral words in English, I feel like, but in Spanish, everything is, like, ella, él. Mm-hmm. Things that don't even have a gender, they are being like they are being assigned a gender, like yeah. the chair, right? In la English, silla. it has no gender, but it's la silla in Spanish. You and wouldn't then, say like, el silla because that exact. sounds terrible. Cause, yeah, because it sounds bad. It sounds ugly. But also, it's correct and incorrect, you know. Yeah, so Mexicans, like words get right? gendered and people get so like to me that's so dumb that you're gonna get so upset over it. Eso significa que el sillón es el esposo de la silla o qué onda? 
<laughs> I think I think people should just why do they have to be married? They're having a platonic relationship. You need to brush that off because yeah, see? you can't just expect everyone to walk around eggshells for you. The people world, are not going to do it. The well, world the is thing, getting you're, you're free to say and do whatever you want and you like you, like if you want to be Z Zim, then that's great. But don't expect everybody to follow suit because it's just not you can't you can affect yourself, but you can't affect others. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Especially just in general. Like when you go out you order coffee or something and they're like here you go ma'am i'm not gonna get mad because she's like oh my god like if i look like a girl that's so like was, mm, girls feminine can i can i comment something qualities? guys no that, what's up so i i <laughs> i'm trying not to say yes sir or yes ma'am while i'm on drive through because at some point you're some, gonna misgender someone yeah i i actually have not the newest expert yeah misgendered See? someone I mean, what's the neutral they, they, they didn't get mad but like they when they got cry. to the window they were like and i i, I go as ma'am but uh, it, it looked like a ma'am didn't sound like one oh, okay no se escuchaba mm. pero ya cuando lo viste por la ventana dijiste like, oh my oh, god oh, i did uh, yeah well yeah it makes sense okay i'm okay. sorry <laughs> Does McDonald's have a policy, a, a, a protocol for that, like for the gender neutral way uh, to greet? No, they don't. We just we're not. We have like, um, what do you call it? Like a script, mm -hmm. and it it doesn't use any gendered. Y qué lo que haces entonces? A ver, dime una frase cuando ya. Yeah. Okay, that's all I want. ¿Qué me dices tú a mí? All right. Uh, your total seven thirty five. Yeah, your total is uh, at the first window, please. O sea, no. Thank you. The the the. Totalmente no usas nada refiriéndose al customer para nada. No, unless they ask me a question, then I'm like, I want to say yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. I've never But, really been one to say like, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Because when I worked like that, like in customer service, I, I avoided terms like that. Uh -huh. But but I, I, have to get, that I have to get used to it because that's how I have to talk to Está people. Está interesante now. escuchar este tema porque por el simple hecho de que no he tenido ese problema en realidad porque yo no trabajo en ese tipo de, uh -huh. de trabajo, ¿no? Donde estás interacting with different people every con day, mucha day. gente todo el día, sí. Está interesante ver esa perspectiva como nunca se me hubiera ocurrido que eso es un problema en realidad. Oh, I, I, I don't... I think we're running pretty long, but I had one thing to add to that. Tíralo. At my work... Uh, we, my job, part of my job is we call to confirm our appointments for tomorrow, for the following day. And when we call, we put like LM for left message. We'll put okay. But if we talk to somebody, if we talk, to, like if we didn't leave a message and we talk, talk to them, we'll put okay, Mr. or okay, Miss to indicate whoever we were talking to was either the Mr. and the Miss. The reason why is because a lot of, I don't know if you know this, a lot of people in relationships do not communicate. So they'll call and be like, oh, why wasn't I given a call for this? It's like, it says right here, it's okay per mister. We talk she, to your husband. Exactly. Man. Talk to your spouse. Uh. And and we've gotten a lot of situations that like they get mad at us because we didn't follow through. But it was like, it says right here, we confirmed with mister. We confirmed with miss. And then, <laughs> so like... We, out of necessity, put that on there. Do you But ask now them, I'm like, though, or do you accident like, have no, you I'm ever gendered just, someone? I'm just Assuming gendering them. A la torre. Well, like, that's what I'm saying. No like, sometimes creer. you just it's have to gender job. someone. And it's, it's not like you're job. doing it to piss them off. No. If they tell you, like, oh, by the way, I identify as yeah. and I'm sure she, then you obviously would call them that. Exactly. It's not like you're doing it with a bad intention. And I think that's where, like, the line is. is Gordo. The line is getting blurry, though. Interpreting where... Sí. Somebody did it with a malicious intent yeah. to piss you off, or if they're doing it accidentally, like just. And my job get is old. It. All of the people that work there, they're very old. They're not. They're not PC. You're well, old. You're old too. boomers, más arriba que They're boomers. Straight, oh, straight up. Um, ya para irnos, no. Es que ya nos vamos a ir. Yeah. Uh, would you date a transgender? <laughs> no. Question is, are you super straight? Are you super straight then? I get, if that's what it means, then yeah, I guess. <laughs> 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 I already had it ready too. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for sticking around to that uh, episode. I, it was uh, we 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 did a lot, and we we're tiptoeing on some very dangerous stuff. Definitivamente, la net estuvo más libre esta este este episodio que en los pasados, ¿verdad? Probably. I was getting scared, dude. I was like, oh my god, we can't be talking about black people and black uh, presenting and. If you guys cancel net. me, that's fine. I don't care about your opinion anyways. Nice. Not, Apparently not much. Should. So we're not going to shout out your Instagram or anything. <laughs> But guys, um, if you guys liked or disliked this, please go to a Hape Levis, at Hape Levis on Instagram and Twitter. 
Tell us everything you think about it. And you know what? If you want more characters, go on uh, hatebloodspod at gmail.com. Send oh, yeah. us your hate mail. We actually want to hear from you. Good or bad, anything. Literally anything, just send it to us. Let us know what you think because otherwise, how are we going to know? How are we going to know if we're doing wrong? You know? I like, like what are we going to uh, pay attention to the world? One last thing. But I know, yeah. But we're on YouTube too. It's so. algo que me mandó Jesse. Dice, I guess her name was Facts because she didn't care about my feelings. <laughs>